Good evening to all of you. This is Dr. Uh, Ramesh Pudale and uh, respected chief guest, Dr. Teeth Tagarajan, Dean MIT and University, honorable guest of honor, uh, Mr. Conway Gaw, uh, head of PAC Japan and uh, Education Autodesk, honorable guest of honor, Mr. Parminder Singh, head of design and manufacturing, uh, Red Entertainment Order Autodesk, and all the dignitaries uh, invited a distinguished guest present here. Good evening. And, you know, I would like to welcome you all for this uh, Anna University uh, Fusion Design Challenge mega event. Uh, before we start the event today, uh, we can have, uh, you know, a huge round of applause for all those who have come here uh, to, to make this evening really memorable. And uh, today, uh, today's uh, event recognized really uh, extraordinary talent and commitment demonstrated by all the competitors. Thank you. Yeah, now let's uh, take a look at uh, the agenda. Uh, uh, we will start with the welcome address, then we will have the inauguration uh, of this event, formal inauguration um, by the Dean, uh, the opening keynote by the guest of honor, and then also we'll have the future of making by guest of honor, uh, followed by the jury introduction. Uh, then we will have the presentation of all uh, top six finalists in front of uh, all jury members. Uh, uh, then followed by, we have the virtual tour of monthly winners and model exhibition in virtual environment. Uh, then we'll also have uh, the uh, monthly and mega winners uh, uh, price distribution uh, in a virtual environment. Uh, then uh, we will also invite jury members and uh, students who are going to share their experiences. Uh, and finally, we will have the vote of thanks from CUIC. Now, uh, I request Dr. T. Kalai Selvin, Additional Director of CUIC, uh, Anna University, to deliver the welcome address. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ramesh. Uh, for setting up this uh, grand finale event. Uh, most respected and beloved, uh, uh, the industry leaders from Autodesk and leadership team from university and all the my student friends and the other faculty members who are joined in this grand finale. So on behalf of Anna University and Center for University Industry Collaboration, my own behalf, good evening to one and all who are presented here uh, through, through online mode. Uh, first of all, my sincere thanks and appreciation to the leadership team of Autodesk for uh, choosing Anna University as one of the trusted academic partner to uh, run this program. So in, in fact, we have been working with uh, uh, Mr. Deepankar and Ramesh for the past uh, three years on different capacities on different events. In fact, we, we very humbly, we started uh, with the uh, uh, student training program. Then we moved to the faculty development training program. Then we did a three days boot camp for the students, not only in the university departments, but also in the university colleges across state of Tamil Nadu. So in fact, in fact, it was a wonderful journey. Then we came out with a model, this uh, monthly challenge fusion, using Fusion 360. So monthly challenge went on very well for five months. 
and on an average, 3,000 plus teams across the state of Tamil Nadu have participated from many engineering colleges. In fact, the students and the faculty members were very excited to be partnered with the JU and Autodesk in, in this uh, great challenge. And now we are today in the, in the Mega Challenge. So that's a, that's the journey we had uh, for the past six months as far as this Fusion 360 challenge is concerned. So uh, first uh, uh, and foremost, my sincere uh, thanks and uh, my warm welcome to Mr. Conway, who has joined uh, uh, all the way from Singapore through the through, through, uh, call. So really, really, we appreciate his time and effort in connecting with all of us today. So thank you, Mr. Conway, on behalf of the uh, leadership team of Hana University and my own behalf, uh, my, my warm welcome to you uh, to, to uh, give the deliver the keynote address. Uh, next to my uh, warm welcome to Mr. Parminder Singh. So in fact, uh, the Indian leadership team of Autodesk uh, is, is working with us very closely. In fact, we are, we are planning to start, a, I mean, sign an MOU uh, with Autodesk. So already almost 90% of the work is over. So probably at any time we may also get a good news from us. So once we start the uh, signing the MOU, then probably our relationship will strengthen further and we can, we can take it across uh, to all the engineering colleges in the state of Tamil Nadu in, our, uh, in terms of uh, student training as well as the faculty training. Thank you, Mr. Parmender, for all your support and warm welcome to you on behalf of Anna University. Extra warm and cordial welcome to you. Next, uh, my sincere uh, appreciation to Bhattach I mean, Dipankar Bhattacharya and then uh, Dr. Ramesh uh, for the further for the great support. And I mean, whenever we reach out to them, anytime, anytime across through a call or through a meeting, so they, they were obliged. And in fact, I, we still remember, in fact, they sponsored a, an event for the uh, automobile engineering students of uh, MIT. Uh, they, the kids were participating in a Supra a sports car design challenge. In fact, uh, using this new Fusion 360 uh, uh, generative design software, they built a model and then a component. And then uh, the vehicle was, in fact, displayed in the uh, Bangalore uh, University, uh, Autodesk University to meet. So we still remember, so the team members have visited and then seen personally. So my warm welcome to Mr. Ramesh and Mr. Deepangar. And then uh, our Dean, beloved Dean, Professor Dr. T. Tyagrajan, uh, former director of CUIC and presently Dean of MIT campus. Very, very enterprising man, worked very closely with the industries. Sir, your presence today will make a great inspiration to all, the, all of us today. So warm welcome to you, sir. And then my colleague, Dr. Udai, and all the faculty members who joined uh, from other campuses, the placement officers, directors, deans of placement across the Tamil Nadu, and uh, my my jury members, my jury members uh, from from great industries. Probably Ramesh will be introducing them. So thanks to all my jury members who have been traveling with us for the past uh, six months for this uh, challenge, and then all my student friends who are going to present it today, and other uh, winners uh, from the monthly challenge. So to one and all, I extend a warm and cordial welcome to all of you. Uh, let's have a good time uh, in, in the grand finale. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ramesh, for providing me an opportunity. Over to you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Kalai Selvan, for your welcome address. Now, I would like to introduce uh, our chief guest, Dr. T. Dagarajan. He's a erudite professor, social conscious researcher, and an experienced administrator. Uh, with a demonstrated history of working in higher education institute, uh, having a strong education professional with a PhD focus in intelligent control from an university and postdoc in order tuning from NTU, expert in the NAC in B accreditation, uh, NIRF ranking, pedagogy, development, career counseling, and guidance. Uh, now, you know, I request uh, you know today's uh, chief guest. Dr. T. Dagarajan, Dean MIT and University to deliver the inaugural address. Thank you, Dr. Ramesh Purle. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes audible. sir. Uh, a very esteemed head APAC and Japan Education Autodesk, Mr. Conway, and Mr. Parminder Singh, head design and media entertainment Autodesk. Mr. Deepankar Bhattacharya, Head India Education from Autodesk, Dr. Ramesh Purale, our uh, liaison between Anna University and Autodesk, year after year for the past five years, uh, program manager, and uh, the leadership team of uh, CUAC, uh, Dr. Kalachalvan, 
the ever trustworthy and the cheerful uh, Kalai Chelvan, Ad additional director CUIC, and Professor Uday Kumar, a silent worker from CUIC, erudite jury, jury members, the enthusiastic uh, six finalists, and uh, from the College of Engineering, Gindi, UCE, Kanjiwaram, SNS College, Coimbatore, TCE, Madurai, and PhD, uh, Coimbatore, and distinguished uh, invitees. I am Professor Tyagraj and Dean of MIT campus, the campus where Dr. Abdul Kalam, the former benchmark president and uh, technocrat missile man, pursued his uh, aeronautical engineering. I, at the outset, I profusely appreciate the Autodesk leadership team for the initiative they have done to give some kind of hands-on experience to the young uh, and energetic student friends uh, in the design. And that will uh, give a wonderful uh, uh, roadmap for their future career activities. Uh, friends, so you will be very happy to know and surprised to see some of the uh, beautiful uh, uh, interactions we had. I hope you are able to, uh, you are not able to see that. Okay. We had an interaction with uh, Dr. Ramesh Purale uh, way back, uh, uh, about five years back when we met in CUIC. And from that day onwards, every year, there are some kind of uh, collaborative uh, activity with Anna University and Autodesk. Very recently, on January 2019, Dr. Ramesh Purale visited uh, MIT campus uh, to distribute the uh, certificates for the 101 odd uh, students who got trained in Autodesk software. Then uh, we had a very unique uh, opportunity with uh, Mr. Conway and uh, the leadership team of uh, Autodesk in Bangalore when they conducted uh, Autodesk Meet. In fact, uh, they have sponsored uh, uh, the event uh, for our students to carry their uh, um, uh, the vehicle they have uh, designed creatively all the way from Chennai to Bangalore. They have also given an opportunity for me to discuss and express my views on the role of technical uh, education for next generation. That's a very interesting uh, a discussion we had for about two hours, which is led by Dr. none other than Mr. Deepankar. Then we had in January 2020, uh, the electrical vehicle workshop was inaugurated by none other than Dr. Ramesh Prale. And in February 20, Deepankar visited our 540 crore Siemens Center of Excellence to see how the Industry Institute collaboration is happening in this uh, Anna University. And we are extremely delighted to have this kind of collaboration with uh, Autodesk, uh, a pioneer in uh, design software, helping the student community as well as the faculty community. I'm sure in the years to come, this collaboration will further strengthen for the mutual benefit. Thanks to Dr. Ramesh Purale. Uh, thank you, Dr. Dagarajan for your inaugural address. Now I would like to introduce uh, today's uh, uh, guest of honor, Mr. Conway Go. He's a uh, head APAC in Japan education at Autodesk, Singapore, uh, with a passion for design, technology, education, and people development. Conway is a responsible st for strategic alliances uh, with leading uh, education institutes and government through partnerships across Asia Pacific and Japan. He engages with education institutes, executives, and government stakeholders and students to really empower the next generation with the latest in education and technology to really enhance the learning and to ensure the future ready talents. Uh, uh, a team player, and he really believes in collaboration with stakeholders to achieve win-win outcome, is a technology professional with uh, over 20 years of experiences uh, in major technology firms. Now I request Mr. Conway to present the opening keynote for today's event. Uh, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, you know, Ramesh and, uh, you know, friends from Anna University. You know, uh, Dr. Thaya, uh, Rajan, I mean, it was so wonderful to hear from you as well. I'm, I'm so happy to see all the friends from Anna University you know, it's uh, I know it's very very tough times in India. Um, so to to 
to actually meet everyone, um, you know, virtually, seeing that everyone is well and safe, uh, it's just very, very heartwarming for me. So, um, you know, what a pleasure to be here, and I'm just so happy to see my friends from Anna University again. So, um, you know, a very good evening, Dr. Taya Garajan, you know, Dean, MIT, Anna University, Dr. Kalai Salvin, you know, additional director, CUCI, Anna University, um, you know, my colleague, Praminda Aldudes, principals, you know, jury members, deans, heads of departments, faculties, and students. Um, you know, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Autodesk, like I said, I'm just so happy to be here. It is really my pride and privilege, uh, you know, to be here this evening as part of the Anna University, you know, Fusion 360 Design Challenge, you know, grand finale. One goal that keeps us all united with the focus of inculcating, um, you know, a culture of product innovation and a mindset of problem solving of future generation. And more importantly, is to enable India's workforce and a future of preparing the younger generation for a marketplace where their design and make skills will be valuable and a competitive advantage for all construction and manufacturing companies. Let me go to the next slide. All right, can you see my next slide? Just not sure why it's lagging a bit. Well, we can see Carlos. Perfect, yeah, okay, so great. So it's really exciting that uh, you know the students from Anna University, you know, are participating in this uh, Anna University, um, you know, Fusion 360 Design Challenge, and now more importantly, able to be able to use one of the most sophisticated technologies there is today, generative design in Fusion 360. Its adoption is growing really rapidly, and we are certain that it will be the way which we design not only the day-to-day -day items such as tables and chairs but the most complex pieces of engineering, you know, such as cars and rockets. Uh, and the presentation that you're seeing here today is really one of my favorites. Uh, one of my favorite example is a space lander that we have developed together with NASA. It's been referred as one of the most complex piece of generative design ever. And it's been built to reach Sutton and Juniper. So the sky is the limit, right? To all the students here today, right? The sky is the limit for our younger generation. And, if, and this, if this is what we can do in Fusion 360 and generative design, it's just an example. Uh, can you imagine what the students can be creating for tomorrow? Uh, but something else has been introduced. You know, more importantly, is a new way of thinking. You know, for decades, automation and Autodesk software has helped companies to offload tasks, optimize processes. You know, however, in time and age where software makes absolutely anything possible, it is more important that the imagination, not the optimization, that drives us. Um, you know, forward. This is the future of making, a future where we are not limited by the technology, resources or capabilities, but really built by our own imagination. Giving a perspective from an education perspective, uh, from, from an education perspective, you know, why, why is like, you know, four tenths of employers unable to find the talent that they need? Um, it is, you know, it's, it's because, you know, they are hiring the sk different skill sets than what is currently being produced. Think of how much the education sector or engineering curriculum has changed over the last 50 years. Uh, manufacturing is one of the sectors embracing automation and how graduates are getting skills they need to be successful in a fast moving sector. So with this, we'd like to thank Anna University you know, for really this forward looking partnership you know, by adopting Fusion 360 in the curriculum, you know, by embracing generative design. These are all for very forward looking partnership which Anna University has embraced together with Autodesk and the partnership that we have had. Uh, people displaced by automation can also benefit from the creation of the new type of work, which many has not been created yet. Automation allows people the opportunity to upskill and reskill into more technical roles that offer better career opportunities for the students you know, and higher wages. So automation will allow the nature of work, will allow change of the nature of work. People will perform tasks that are complementary to the work that machines will do and vice versa. Uh, this will enable businesses to improve performances and reduce errors. Businesses will also benefit from the quality and time saving. Automation helps them to get businesses better results beyond human capabilities. So rather than worrying the automation taking you know, jobs, maybe we should be focusing on the opportunity where we can take automation. So at Autodesk, we help we make tools to help people with design challenges every day. We help our customers, we help our students automate how things are designed in the digital world and made in the physical world. In fact, 
we have been in the automation business for over 35 years, and we are very optimistic about the optimation. So rather than worrying about optim uh, automation eliminating jobs, we focus on the opportunity where we can take automation and how we can help our users, our students, adapt to the coming age of human and machine collaboration. We focus on where we can go together to make things better, to make them in better ways, and to make work better and more meaningful. Because along with the inevitable of more is the reality of less, is the opportunity of better. And this is where I'm so excited, where students bring so much hope. May the students in Anna University you know, be led by the imagination, supported with the right tools like generative design and Fusion 360 as they face real life challenges today and in the future. You know, as a company, as Autodesk, you know, this is really what moves us. You know, en enabling millions of students, students in other universities and uh, uh, students across the world, individuals, companies, nations to solve real world problems through our technology and ultimately to make our world a better place for our current and future generation. So sincerely, you know, thank you, uh, you know, Anna University and the uh, Fusion 360 Design Challenge uh, Organizing Community, uh, allowing us to extend our purpose to your teams and to your students. You know, we are very confident um, of the great impact that will come out of this partnership between our organizations. And we look forward to the collaboration in the years ahead. You know, with sincere thanks and, uh, you know, a heartwarming, um, you know, thank you once again, you know, that uh, for all the collaboration and the partnership, I'm just so happy to be here and to see all our friends, uh, even though virtually, and I hope to meet you all soon, uh, in person soon, sometime soon. So thank you very much. Thank you, Conway, for your inspiring speech. Now, I would like to introduce you the today's guest of honor, Mr. Parminder Singh, who's a, who's a country head, uh, design, manufacturing, and media entertainment. India and SAR countries at Autodesk. He is a uh, you know, experienced sales leader with a demonstrated history of creating a value proposition for customer and executing the business transformations. Well versed with all product lifecycle management, smart factories, IoT, uh, manufacturing operation management and autonomous vehicle. So uh, we are pleased to have Mr. Parminder uh, with us today, and now I request Mr. Parminder to address the gallery. So, good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you, Conway. I think it was a pretty good introduction on you know uh, what Auto does. Does uh, first of all, I like to thank uh, the senior leadership at Anna University. Uh, as Mr. Conway mentioned, thank you so much for supporting our technology, and we certainly do believe that you know. Uh, associating with the colleges is key and we need to bring the best technology to you so that you can innovate or the teams which are working at and uh, you know at the colleges can innovate using our technology so it's a matter of pleasure to see that you know using our technology uh, your students have worked on it and i am really keen to you know see uh, what all you know the areas of work has been I, i'm not going to share too much on uh, on autodesk as such but I thought, you know, let me at least, since the students are there, faculty is there, and I also interact with a lot of senior leadership in the industry, let me share with you, you know, what are we trying to do and how are we going, uh, you know, going and addressing the market. So it's a, just a five minutes talk just to share with you how we are looking at, you know, uh, on the areas. Some of the things uh, Conway certainly shared, and uh, I will try not to, you know, uh, go or repeat uh, those areas. So as far as Autodesk is concerned, I think all of you know, but uh, through this slide, you know, I'm just trying to share, especially for the students that, you know, uh, not only in the area of design, you know, automotive or manufacturing, we are also, you know, whatever large skyscrapers you're seeing or, you know, the complicated bridges and most of the animated movies which you watch are done using, you know, Autodesk solution. So we are present in, you know, we are touching your lives in many ways uh, the beautiful cars is one of the one of the way. Having said that, I think uh, uh, Conway just shared about it. You know that generative design is one of the key thing, and I think it comes from fundamentally. You know, Autodesk has invested a lot of time and money in this particular approach, and this is basically one of the thing is design of experiments, which I'm sure you have all gone through your studies, and 
you know, when, when Conway mentioned that, you know, we are trying to bring automation, the whole idea is that how do we bring automation to make more sustainable products? You know, he also shared with you that, you know, more is inevitable, which basically means more cars, you know, more people coming to cities. At the same time, you know, there's less resources uh, to do that, less skilled people, especially, you know, uh, to, you know, address those requirements. And at the same time, I think the one which is impacting all of us is, you know, the resources, you know, so we need to make things which are quite sustainable. Or, or you know, the innovation has to be linked to, you know, sustainable innovation. So that's what we want our, our customers to do. And to do so, you know, we, so we have almost 30 years of experience in, you know, automation. When, while by doing that, what we are trying to do is make the things as less complicated as possible. And generative design is one of the key things, you know, which Autodesk has achieved. Under design of experiment, you know that, you know, how do you explore the whole cloud uh, data and then, you know, figure out which is the best solution. You know, today in the industry, you may do 10 or 12 different examples or problems, you know, with the different boundary conditions. But how do you really explore the whole DOE and ensure that, you know, you get the right part in a lesser time or light assembly, right assembly in a lesser time. And that's where, you know, we are, uh, we are, you know, adding a lot of value and I'm sure uh, your team has worked on it and seen the effectiveness of our solution. So this is one of the key areas or technologies which we have developed. What I'm, uh, this is my last slide, but I wanted to share with the students, especially that, you know, a little bit, a uh, little bit more fill, but, you know, be with me, the, the boxes at the bottom, you know, basically represent the way, you know, usually industry works in a pretty linear way, starting from concept design, you know, then you're getting into design and engineering, which defines the, you know, how the product is, uh, the engineering details are going to look like and how it's going to be manufactured. And then sell and obviously operate and retire, which is which you can see at the at the bottom uh, bottom part. But this is a traditional way. In this, you know, you can improve certainly improve uh, the effective productivity, reduce the cost. But you know, I think you know the way world is moving to is it's more of uh, today the customer wants more of mass customization. So you know, Autodesk has has identified you know that there are the five levers which are very um, are common to, you know, almost all the manufacturing industries. And those are, you know, like mass customization. Today, if you order any Nike shoe, you know how the mass customization is done. Or let's say if you are looking at any truck or buses, you know, they are highly customized. Every order of bus is a different bus as, you know, because it's a highly customizable. And same is happening in car. So, you know, we, we need to ensure that our customers are able to do mass customization collaboration in the area of, you know, this pandemic has certainly pushed us forward. Not that, you know, the industry was not doing earlier, but this is another key uh, area. And then flexible manufacturing, additive and subtractive is a key area of, you know, how we are looking at it. But not only this trend, we also see a trend that, you know, within the same line, uh, you know, flexible manufacturing, people are also making a scooter as well as motorcycle. So, you know, it's, it's a different approach to the whole manufacturing uh, and you know utilizing those assets and then comes the customer experience i guess apple is the best example of you know customer experience that's how we are also looking at that how our customers can use our technology to increase the customer experience but having said that you know these are the five trends which i mentioned mass collab uh, customization collaboration flexible manufacturing customer experience and last but not the least you know the whole whole activity or, you know, the, when you have the data, that is where, you know, we can bring intelligence on what our customers are doing or, you know, how we can help them to do better. Let's say, you know, you imagine that you are doing a design in a particular area, let's say assembly or, you know, in the chassis and you're doing it for next one year. So how can we, you know, do the artificial intelligence in that and help you to decide better when you are doing the next design? So that's the kind of one example I've given you, but that's not limited to it. There are many data, you know, uh, data points or metadata, which is there when you're doing a complete design. And that's what we want to utilize and help our customers to innovate. So if you look at the boxes, which are at the top, this help you to, you know, be more agile in the way you are manufacturing. And at, at the same time, designing and manufacturing, and at the same time, look at more savings. So today at Autodesk, when we are engaging with customers, you know, when we are talking to industry, this is what we are trying to solve for them. 
So I thought, you know, with this, I give you a brief background, how Autodesk looks at, especially in the manufacturing side. And, and you know, I'm looking forward to uh, the exciting session here. And if there are any questions, I'm sure there will be opportunity to answer that. Thank you. To uh, you know, introduce uh, E. Suresh Kumar, uh, who is a senior manager manufacturing uh, at Oshok Leyland, Chennai plant. So he has uh, 24 years of experience at Oshok Leyland. Uh, he is one of the, the manufacturing experts. So he has actually, actually established the transmission line in various you know, automotive, you know, uh, Excel projects as well. So we, he has a, you know, deep experience in uh, spearheaded uh, gear manufacturing division and its implementation process at Osho Leyland. Uh, he has actually established a kind of, you know, contemporary best practices, you know, at Osho Leyland. Uh, he is a CNC programmer as well. Uh, that that uh, we are we are surprised to know that he has played a vital role, you know, uh, in implementing. Uh, mission came by initiatives, a key role in transforming the people and really played a significant role in also TQM and mission, uh, you know, game of functions at Osho Cleland. Uh, so welcome, sir. Uh, now, next we have uh, Dr. Uh, G. Sarvanan, uh, you know, has a, has a 24 years of experience at Caterpillar. Uh, he is a a strategy and new product manager, uh, new product introduction manager. Uh, he is also NPR leader uh, under the Earth Moving Division. He's published, uh, he's also a researcher, by the way. He's published um, research in 14 international journals. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, a, and also the, the important part is he also received two patents uh, from Caterpillar. Uh, he also got a 20 plus awards and recognitions uh, from various bodies and organizations for the excellence in uh, his educational you know, leaderships, uh, community development and social responsibility. He's also the winner of uh, Young Philanthropist Award from Ang Professionals of Caterpillar in 2013 and featured in you know, the Cat Careers media published by Caterpillar in 2019. Thank you, for Dr. Uh, Sarvan Ravindran, uh, yeah. Ravindra Devarajan. So he's a global lead, uh, lean leader at uh, Siemens Commercia India. So he has a, a you know a experience of 20 years of experience in manufacturing industry. So she currently also heading a quality you know assurance and process excellence. He's focused on lean. He's also focused on TQM. Six Sigma in uh, in in companies. Uh, he's also uh, you know has experience uh, on on various standards, UCL uh, and you know with with other companies as well. So uh, welcome, uh, Ravindra. Now the next uh, jury uh, what we have available is I think uh, Mr. S. Uh, S. Suresh. So he's a scientific officer at uh, Indira Gandhi Center for Automatic Research, IGCAR. So his areas of specialization includes industrial engineering. So he's also having experience in maintenance management, uh, project management, uh, also worked on various projects uh, on quality management on industrial and fire safety. He's also a member of you know, professional bodies uh, uh, which is primarily Indian Nuclear Society, INS Institution of Engineers, uh, you know, Indian Society for Non-Destructive Testing, ISNT, Quality Circle Forum of India, uh, QCFI, Indian Institute of Metals, National Institute of uh, uh, Quality and Reliability. So having a huge experience, you know, you know, quality standards. And he's also a member of Indian Society of uh, Heat and refrigeration, you know, refrigeration and air conditioning engineers, uh, Ishre. So, uh, welcome, uh, Suresh. Uh, now we have uh, uh, Mr. Hariharan. Uh, uh, he's a he's a manager, uh, chassis engineering at Renault Nissan. 
uh, you know, he has uh, 11 plus years of experience in auto, OEM and research and development uh, with a collective experience in vehicle development process, including the product target setting, uh, product regulations, product development testing and after sales. He successfully uh, managed various verticals uh, and multiple projects to improve the product competitiveness and the efficiency of the design and the development process. Uh, in also addition, he leads various, you know, corporate uh, social responsibility activities, you know, at uh, Renault, uh, RNT, BCI. So the, he also uh, is awarded, uh, is also kind of an award, you know, ceremonies uh, of, uh, you know, he likes the talent and uh, he has achieved uh, the, the multiple, uh, you know, awards, you know, in company is a, is a well-respected, uh, you know, designer uh, based out of from Chennai. So uh, with the introduction of the jury, so the next task is uh, all the final, you know, the finalists, they're going to present, uh, you know, in front of jury member. Uh, this is going to be a kind of, you know, final pitch. So uh, the criteria, you know, all of, uh, you know, have seen on the website, but I, I'll just, you know, try to, uh, you know, brief you the, the criteria. Uh, the first, uh, uh, we have uh, the. Uh, uh, let me uh, let me share the screen. I think it's not captured here. Uh, I think they should focus on their speech because we are giving a five minutes time, uh, uh, and uh, all the all the finalists can focus on the evaluation criteria. So the the first one is about design objectives. So we're going to uh, see that uh, the 10% will, will be given on the design objectives. Uh, then second design process, which are around 10%. Again, uh, you know how you built your uh, projects, which process or which workflows you're used. Um, so it carries around 10% of marks. Uh, then creativity and uh, novelty of your designs, like 30% carries 30% of weightage. So, uh, you know, please, you please focus on, you know, some of the uh, innovative ideas and, you know, how best, uh, you know, creative uh, or critical thinking that you have brought in your design. Uh, then the software usage is, is something, or uh, it also carries 30% of mark. And the final one we have impact, uh, uh, you know, how, how you're creating impact or how the design or the services, you know, from that particular product you know, can, uh, you know, provide us impact. Uh, you should also consider, uh, you know, some of the aspects like the sustainability design, you know, how you can bring that sustainability design angle, uh, you know, in your presentation. So that is also, uh, you know, carries a bit of 20%. So with this, uh, you know, I would like to invite the first team. Uh, you know, in the meantime, I would like to check with all the jury members whether they have received- If Conway is sure, Conway, and thanks for joining. Thank you, everyone. Have a, have a great session. Yeah. Congratulations thank you. to all the students again. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Mr. Conway, for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, Conway. Thank Sorry, Mr. Chandru, you can start now. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Chandru. Uh, the name of, uh, sorry. Uh, my name is Chandru, a second year mechanical engineering undergraduate from SNS College of Technology, Coimbatore. The name of my project is Green Taxi. It is a solar powered electric autonomous vehicle. Here I share you a short video of my project. Project description. Why I designed this? Uh, why I choose this type of vehicle? Because mostly in India and uh, all other countries, most of the people prefer to use taxis. So I decided to design a uh, vehicle that should replace the conventional uh, conventional vehicles that run out of gasoline. Uh, objectives of the vehicle: it is designed to replace the auto rickshaws, call, uh, call taxis, and spare autos. Uh, and it, uh, this vehicle should be easily available in uh, 
all areas mainly in urban areas uh, this vehicle is a autonomous vehicle so it doesn't have a, a human assistance uh, so it could be very user friendly to all people uh, and to avoid accidents and to reduce the driving cost of the vehicle i used uh, i designed this vehicle as a autonomous vehicle and to save electricity i also used solar panels and the design process uh, chassis and battery of the vehicle uh, the battery uh, the battery pack of the vehicle is uh, the lithium ion type of battery having capacity of 100 kilowatt hours the battery can be charged from both solar power and also from the conventional electricity and uh, during the deceleration of the vehicle the motor gets inverted and uh, sends back power to the uh, sends back power to the battery pack and uh, the chassis of the vehicle is designed with uh, two independent dc series motor one on the front and another another on the back of the vehicle uh, the electric vehicle has a range of nearly 400 to 500 km with a maximum speed of 60 km per hour and the chassis is referred from the tesla model s car and the interior and exterior design of the vehicle the vehicle is designed with uh, uh, with a capacity of eight members four sitting capacity and four standing capacity these are the other items i included in the vehicle uh, ramp for the handicapped people with people with uh, wheelchairs and uh, also for the people who carry babies with stroller and uh, this vehicle is also uh, a shareable taxi so uh, the sharing amount and other required details will be displayed in the led screen print and uh, in front in uh, front and back of the vehicle and this is the smart tab used to uh, uh, used for uh, choosing the destination and the people can pay using this uh, through digital payment uh, i uh, this uh, solar panel uh, this solar panel is inspired from the sunflower uh, plant and the connector part of the panel is power of range to the electric vehicle uh, it comes out uh, the vehicle uh, comes out and charges it uh, charges itself automatically Uh, when the vehicle is at rest and it is it shrinks inside when the vehicle is when it's moving and these are the sensors i include in the vehicle uh, the major uh, the sensors like lidar sensor radar sensor camera uh, object detecting cameras and thermal cameras uh, i use generative design in the uh, rim part of the wheel and the connector part of the solar panel and these uh, the generative design part can be manufactured through additive manufacturing and it uh, removes nearly 20 uh, 20 percentage of weight from the normal designs uh, uh, now i uh, conclude my presentation hope this vehicle will be useful for the smart future thank you uh, this is uh, dr saranan here can you hear me uh, yes sir so uh, what would be the approximate cost of manufacturing what is the estimate you have done and what is the uh, i would say the market acceptance what is the voice you got from the customers as of now uh, uh, the cost of the vehicle is uh, estimated as nearly to, uh, for the prototype level it's nearly uh, 50 lakhs or uh, when uh, uh, it is implemented by all the automotive companies uh, for the mass production it, it will reduce in future uh, to Uh, nearly 22 30 lakhs 22 to 30 lakhs yes. okay and uh, what is the uh, capacity of it like uh, it's a green taxi and uh, it's powered by electric uh, thing and uh, how long it can go and uh, what is the uh, period of uh, recharge and what would be the life of the battery uh, the uh, life of the battery is for uh, five years and uh, it can carry the load of up to uh, 800 kg uh, the battery life is uh, approximately uh, i fully understand about that and uh, uh, the, the the only question i have is uh, uh, i need to commute uh, 50 km from here to wherever i need to go so uh, is it be viable to move a passenger or move passengers from a, a distance of 50 kilometers from here without any hassles and if at all i get a stop over i need to recharge so what are the other aspects you have looked upon like where i can recharge or food as to can you please repeat because the your voice breaking 
Okay, my question was, assume that you are going to go from here to uh, 250 kilometers or 300 kilometers from here, assume from Chennai to Bangalore. And uh, uh, what would be the capacity of that vehicle to reach there? And if at all something happens, so how it can be mitigated, like the charge goes, where it can be charged, or you need to drop the taxi there. So that was, that was, that was my question. Are you looked upon the other aspects of it? Yes, the taxi is ready, but the other aspects of okay. the charge or the sunlight adds to, for a for a hour. It's at nearly uh, three to five uh, five kilometers range of power to the vehicle, and uh, uh, two uh, also for uh, this vehicle. Also during the uh, we using regenerative braking the vehicle. Uh, during the deceleration, uh, the vehicle also sends back the power to the battery. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, this is Suresh. Uh, thank you very much for your very good uh, conservative design. Actually, this is the share auto sort of uh, vehicle, no? Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Uh, whether you have taken road conditions, because our Indian road conditions, uh, uh, whether uh, taken care while designing this. Yes, sir. Yeah, and uh, what is the material you use for so regenerative uh, design? We have to use uh, light weighted material, right? Yes, and easily available, uh, easily available material. Uh, what type of material you use in your vehicle? So this is a very good design. Actually, uh, you have designed for the common people, those who are commuting in a shared auto. Na. So this vehicle is uh, very good. Uh, it will be serving the society in a good way. Congrats. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, hello, Chandru. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. This is Hari here. Yeah, yeah, Chandru. It's a very good proposal. I have a question which is related to electrical architecture. You have different power source. One is from solar panel and one is from your battery, which will be externally connected. So how you will manage this electrical architecture and what kind of charging system that you are going to employ? Because there are different charging systems that are available. So just uh, let me know your thought process on charging system. And uh, I, I can see you are kind of thinking, you know. So actually, you are thinking, you know, you are designing in such a way that even the handicapped person also gets into that. That is an impressive one. And the only one question, me not to reply also, just to think of that, because if at all we are uh, launching a vehicle, uh, how that will be so difficult to, uh, people from the industry will understand. Because without a brand image, it will be so difficult for us to launch a vehicle. So that too, you are going to descend a six-seater and it will be operating like a share auto. So that will be so difficult because there are so many players and they could not uh, win the market share. So in that consideration, whether the project you can think like uh, converting the, the kind of retrofit <clears throat> Rather than the diesel or petrol, I can provide the uh, another one system, a transition system or energy system, uh, like only it is a solar or uh, some other hybrid. In that way, also I okay, can you think, or why you are why you are thinking that even you are trying to introduce the uh, energy system also a new one and the uh, design also for this new vehicle. Uh, what what pushed you to think in that way? Wasn't uh, J. Uh, he's from uh, University College of Engineering, Kanchipuram. Person, can you share your screen now? Say, I'm from University College of Engineering, Kanchipuram. I'm studying my Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering, uh, final year. Uh, let me share with you that what inside my design, Phoenix, the electric car. Objective. The main aim of this uh, mega challenge event is to provide a feasible solution for urban transportation and also to include the generatively designed parts. As keeping this in mind, the foremost objective of my design is the two things. And um, my next objective is to make a complete featured parts of the electric car. When you hear of your word electric car, two things will come to our mind. One is a battery and another one is a dry train. So I try to Keep attention to design the complete charging system as well as the dry train. And uh, the final thing is, yeah, to give attractive, stylish, and uh, unique look to the vehicle. Next slide. The featured parts of an electric car. As I said, battery pack. It's one of the most important parts in the electric car. I used uh, cylindrical lithium ion cells. The reason for choosing the cylindrical lithium ion cell is 
uh, comparing with uh, leaf based cells and uh, customized uh, battery packs cylindrical lithium ion cells as a uh, effective cooling system can be done with uh, glycol based uh, cooling reservoir systems so that we can able to minimize the temperature and maintain the battery pack at the optimum minimal temperature so it leads to the increased battery life and also we are having a manufacturers which are producing more amount of uh, cylindrical type cells so i choose the cylindrical lithium ion cells uh, the model of uh, cylindrical lithium ion cells proposed in this uh, design uh, manufactured by panasonic and uh, it having each cell is having a 12.06 water capacity uh, in the design consists of uh, two battery packs each battery pack consists of around 2100 cells so maximum value of 53 kilowatt per hour can be obtained which is optimal to run the electric car up to at 200 kilometers run the next uh, feature is a uh, dry train and also more attention is a uh, process for the dry train to complete design of the dry train induction motor inventor open differential wheels which is generally designed and uh, generative braking system is added to the wheels in order to complete a dry train the next thing generative well. design which is the next objective of the electric uh, of the electric vehicle design challenge uh, first thing i choose is a wheel rim the wheel rim is uh, having a base material as aluminum and uh, actually the car which i designed during a second one challenge is having a solid wheel uh, which having a material conception of uh, almost uh, considered as 100% and uh, using a generative technique now 53% of uh, material conception is lowered so next thing is a side mirror which is a generatively designed it is having a base material as plastic uh, with the help of a generative design technique a significant weight reduction is achieved and uh, it is also designed in such a way that it supports the theme of the car which is uh, explained in the next slides uh, next thing is a uh, steering we have n number of parts in that car but uh, the part which having a most connection with that uh, rider is uh, steering absolutely so steering is uh, choose as a next part to generative design and uh, significant weight loss and uh, okay structure is also achieved uh, with the help of a generative design next slide the additional features in that car uh, i also concentrate on uh, designing the interior parts as uh, a more comfortable seats with seat belts as a design it's uh, the car having a capacity of uh, five uh, next thing is a uh, ground clearance uh, the ground clearance uh, which i designed is of uh, 148 mm uh, it's uh, increased a little bit due to the titanium coating which applied at the back which facing the seats as uh, the in the design the battery which is uh, placed at the bottom of the car so that a uniform weight transmission uh, can be possible as uh, in case of electric car most of the weight can be carried by the charges so the equal battery distribution is achieved to prevent the batteries a titanium coating is applied at the face which are uh, facing the seats and uh, as i said the theme in the car is uh, designed in such a way that it looks like a creature uh, that one angry creature yes angry creature uh, as it's uh, seen angry by looking the conventional wheels on roads uh, uh, which uh, showing the seats for global warming the headlight is uh, designed as it feel like eyes uh, and uh, side mirrors are uh, designed as it feels like uh, ears uh, and uh, the front radiators are uh, designed as it like more the next thing the interiors uh, as you see the seat seat belt and uh, lcd display uh, which uh, implements its sensors and uh, sensory designed uh, steering uh, things are uh, designed so the interior is completely designed and rendered as it meets a real time environment next slide uh, it is a final render the final model of the electric car which i proposed here i think the impact it will create as uh, the data is uh, obtained from us department of energy data center uh, you can clearly see the gasoline comparing to the gasoline cars uh, the hybrid electric cars uh, produce asan asan general kind of 2 minutes sir please yeah okay after of the co2 emissions and uh, in case of a fully electric car it uh, the emissions produced by the fully electric car is uh, less three times than that of the gasoline is but achieving this uh, 
not in uh, india like uh, countries we need to have a path which having a renewable energy sources we need to concentrate more on the renewable energy sources so that we can able to achieve this task yeah thank you full presentation yeah, and you, uh, and uh, uh, very nice way you took it through the uh, design features of what your uh, uh, objectives and the design features and appropriate usage of the software to arrive at the final uh, outcome thank you so much uh, thank you. Uh, how is the market acceptance? May I have only one question so that uh, other uh, members can ask. How is the market acceptance of this car? Have you ever uh, compared with some other model or some other uh, competitor? Actually, the model is uh, proposed from the Tesla S model. Okay. Um, it is having a uh, same uh, features and uh, same setup of uh, battery. It is uh, since the Tesla is one of the most uh, trusted electric cars. Uh, so I hope that uh, this I done it the same design. So there will be acceptance in the market. Yeah, maybe uh, one thing you can always do it to a validation sort of thing. Uh, maybe a virtual validation as well as a, a infield validation. So thank you and over to other juries. All the very best. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Vasant, this is Suresh okay. here. Yeah, okay. actually very good uh, presentation and uh, your design also very sleek. And very yeah, thank attractive. You, thank you. Sir. Yeah, thank you. And now I have one question. You have said ground clearance one forty eight mm. So actually, uh, whether uh, you compare with your ground clearance and other vehicle ground clearance, whether it is capable of meeting the Indian road conditions. Yeah, sir. Uh, I searched the Google, and uh, we are having uh, mostly cars having one fifty mm, which is yeah. nearer to one fifty two, one fifty three, and uh, somewhat. Actually, I planned uh, in a last step as uh, to put at the back side of the battery compartment with the titanium so that uh, it saves the battery from external things which happens in the road. So the battery yeah. needs to be safer. Uh, due to this constraint, uh, somewhat uh, the, the ground clearance has uh, decreased. Uh, if I consider this uh, titanium coating at first before the design, I can able to achieve uh, at 150 mm. 152, 153 mm. Okay. What is the overall weight of your vehicle? Uh, so as of the, uh, the uh. design calculation and approximately it will go around the uh, sound to 800, sir. Yeah. Okay. The major concern is a battery, sir. Right. As okay. of electric vehicle. Yeah. Very good presentation. Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay, congrats. Congrats. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. Uh, hello, Vasan. This is Hari here. Uh, sir. Yeah, I have typed my question in the chat box also, you can read, but my question is, uh, you know, you have drastically reduced the material consumption. But usually, you know, the material uh, weight of the car depends upon the cross performance, driving performance, durability, reliability of the particular model. So you have reduced so much weight, but is that any risk you anticipate because of this? I just want to know your opinion. Yeah, sir. Uh, all the material reduction has uh, done with the help of the Fusion 350 tool. Generative design tool. Uh, in the tool itself, uh, we give the load and uh, it calculates uh, based on the material capabilities which is already stored. Uh, the safety factor is also kept at a range of uh, 2.5, and uh, I hope that it will withstand the crashes. Yes, sir. Yeah, Vasant, have you ever thought of uh, swapping technology? You made a wonderful presentation. Yeah, thank you, sir. Regarding your batteries, you know, there are two technologies like swapping technology and charging technology. Yeah, yeah. And generally, yeah, generally, you know, people prefer uh, the swapping technology more than charging because it's actually had to come to market. Yeah. Have you thought of a, uh, in your design concept about swapping technology? Like you travel for 200 kilometers, yeah, then you swap your batteries in two yeah. minutes, and then you are then you drive. Have you ever thought of that in your design? Uh, yes, sir. When it comes to uh, market perspective, uh, when having a more number of wheels on road, and the swapping technology can be proposed. Because uh, if we use swapping technology, the lithium-ion batteries need to be recycled. If we need to recycle, I must have a less cost than production. If we go with uh, that particular in mind, we need to use uh, plug-in technology because uh, we does not have uh, much uh, wheels on road, right? If uh, we are having a considerable amount of wheels on road, the Recycling rate will low, and so the swapping technology can be included. But as of now, we are having a only little amount and uh, less than a considerable amount of wheels on road. We go on with the packing technology. 
Thank you. Thank you. Um, oh. Not a specific one, uh, Kalisar. I, I okay. thoroughly enjoyed that. The, the ah, presentation really. seems to be very uh, detailed. Thank you. Thank you, Vasan. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you all. So uh, I request again, you know, the Shivadhanush, and I am grateful for the opportunity to elucidate on my project title, Electric Disaster Rescue Vehicle. So a brief summary about myself. I am a sophomore student pursuing manufacturing engineering at College of Engineering, Indy, and I University of Chennai. The goal of any project is very much important because it defines the principle of what the project is all about. The underlying principles of this project were to incorporate the best features available in the existing electric and hybrid vehicles resolving the perennial issues and creating an innovative feature. The goal of the project was in line with the smart approach of creating a specific, measurable, assignable, relevant, and a time-based goal to the context. In order to make the goal more specific and measurable, I delved on to create a purpose and a need for the project. This is a snippet from an article which articulates the number of disasters occurred during the period 2000 to 2019 in comparison with other countries. More than 100 crore people have been affected due to natural disasters. The more recent examples here in Tamil Nadu are the Chennai floods and the Nevar cyclone. Although there have been several innovations with regards to disaster rescue and management, there hasn't been a breakthrough one which can effectively replace the current ambulance and fire trucks. So a decision was made to develop a design of an electric disaster rescue and a special purpose vehicle. In order to validate my decision so as to form a consensus and interviewers plan so as to understand the user's perspective, as said by the renowned quality guru, Joseph Duran, what cannot be measured cannot be improved. And as we all know, the voice of the customer, the customer satisfaction is key to any product. These are the several outcomes from the interview. A majority of the people are not satisfied with the current disaster rescue vehicle and more than 80% of those are want the disaster rescue vehicle to be made electric. And these are the inferences of what the users think to be made of utmost necessity an electric disaster rescue vehicle. Safety and environment friendly features are in high priority, followed by comfort features. Mileage per charge and cost per kilometer, along with aesthetic features, are in least priority in comparison to the other factors. The design process of this project were in line with the methodology of design for manufacturing and design for assembly. I've Diligently followed this flowchart throughout the process. I initially estimated the manufacturing cost of the design and then looked after ways to reduce them in terms of reducing the cost of the components and reducing the cost of the assembly. I then recomputed the manufacturing cost and substantially do that's good enough. If yes, we finalize the design. If no, we have to undergo another iteration. Significant efforts were used in the innovative design tools. The project charter helps in aligning the expectations of the project with suitable solutions and timelines. We then performed the jobs we did on enhancing the energy capacity of driving over 300 kilometers in a single charge. Several factors such as battery size, braking pattern, driving pattern, and ineffective charging were found out. And suitable solution statements such as increasing the battery size and inculcating the functionality of high charge retention capacity were formed. The why way analysis of asking why successfully helps in delving into the problem deeply to understand the root cause. Several problem statements such as the difficulty to travel across tough terrain, the wheels getting damaged easily were solved using this methodology by forming solutions such as the usage of four wheel drive system and usage of data to generate to design features to design the wheels. The GAN chart helps in detailing the project schedule. We list out the several activities, the support required, the current status and the timeline. It is an effective tool to help us to check whether the project is going as per plan. This is the overall summary of the project flow. We initially formed the goal and the objective of the project, and then we delved on to create a purpose and a need for the same. We then carry out the design process, which consists of several design approaches, such as project charter, project fencing, and jobs within. We then carry out the YWA analysis methodology to solve our problems, and then describe the vehicle across several parameters and factors to form the overall outcome of the design. These are the several facets as part of the outcome of the design. We have the headlights, the generative design wheels, the steering wheel, the indicator, a special purpose ladder to tackle in case of fire accidents, a medical supplies container, seats, and a stretcher. We also have an auxiliary battery unit to the main battery units. We have a controller unit in place to control the amount of power going into several devices such as motor. We have the McPherson suspension system in cases or in uh, place of a traditional double wishbone system 
because of its simplicity nature, it is easier to produce. We also have a floating attribute as an amphibious feature, so as to counter in cases of natural disasters. And we also have an intelligent braking system. The generative design of Auto Distribution 360 was extensively used to design the wheels of the electric vehicle. Several studies were developed through AI and they were thoroughly analyzed using several factors such as mass, volume, and factor of safety. And the outcome having the best capabilities offering the better overall performance was selected. We also carried out a simulation test as part of the on the wheels and checked whether if any part of the wheel has high stress value. As evident from the above picture, it is quite evident that the wheels have low stress values. Apart from the generative design and the design and modeling features of Auto Distribution 360, I've also used the rendering and animation workspace to effectively showcase the product to the customer. I thank Anna University, Autodesk, and the jury team for providing me an opportunity to showcase my design skills to this competition. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Sir before jury asks questions, I have a, the, one question to you. In sure. case of a flood, whether this vehicle can, uh, uh, it will be a multi purpose vehicle, drive on road, as well as, uh, uh, I mean, getting uh, floated on, uh, on, the, on the flood water. Exactly, sir. Yeah. So it has the facility to travel both on road and, and on uh, water areas. So this uh, technology was actually developed in the 1960s by a uh, Volkswagen as known as auto car, but it was uh, shaped off as due to the regulations in the Europe. But uh, I worked on that and to find out a suitable solution to mitigate. Since we are having a lot of disasters occur during the period, we there is a need to have a amphibious feature in the vehicle. So I've created a feature for that. So. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Over to the Yes, sir. Uh, this, this is Saravan here. Are you a student or a professional? Uh, I don't see this as a project from a student. In fact, you are a trained professional man. Outstanding. Very mind blogging and outstanding. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. And a fantastic job. Uh, the, more than uh, the project, the, the approach you took is fabulous. I would say uh, whatever I teach in uh, Caterpillar, whatever you teach in the Six Sigma process, uh, you have already incorporated and inculcated. So uh, I really wish that uh, you are a ready-made candidate for us. Like the principles, the smart goals, the voice of the customer, the survey you have done earlier, the design process you adapted, the project charter with the project management, and then the project flow and the outcome of the design. mind blogging. Congratulations for that. So one Thank question you. I have for you, uh, as you told, it's an amphibious vehicle. It can run on road, it can run on water. So what are the sophistications you have in that? If a patient suffocates, you're going to have a oxygen support there or uh, any uh, additional support that is going to uh, encompass in that vehicle. So what yes, are the things sir. you are planning there? Uh, as you, as I said, there are features to have a medical supplies container. So we can also have an oxygen supply container along with that. So okay. in case if any people are drowning and not, and we can also uh, have a feature to uh, bring out the people easily to the vehicle so as to, uh, since the ground clearance is also low and since it has an amphibious feature, we can easily bring on the people and we have several first aid activities and several uh, medical containers in the unit so we can easily provide them the first aid, sir. Yeah. A unique project, uh, all the very best. Congratulations and uh, superb. Well done, uh, Savadhanas. All the best. Uh, Mr. Savadhanas, this is Suresh here. Hello, sir. Uh, actually, your vehicle is running with uh, electric uh, electricity or uh, both by solar power? Or, uh... No, sir. Uh, it can run on uh, the electric power is the primary one. It is the prime over. The solar power is an additional okay. one to help in the charging of the battery, sir. Whether you have shown this because it is a disaster management vehicle. Yes, sir. When electricity power is not available, it should be capable of uh, charging with the solar power. Na? So whether that exactly, sir. Yes, carpet. sir. We have the functionality of that also. Okay. One more, one more question. And uh, you highlighted that four wheels drive, right? Yes, sir. This vehicle is a four wheels drive vehicle, na? Yes, sir. But the market already four wheels drive vehicles are there. What is the novelty between those two? Your four wheels drive. What is the speciality? Any novelty is there? Sir, the uh, four-wheel drive system in the market have been uh, primarily for the commercial cars and uh, commercial four-wheel uh, cars. So there hasn't been a, a great functionality over and having in cases of uh, ambulances and fire trucks. So when you have to uh, mitigate, uh, where in case of disaster, so there is something in case of a forest fire and something like that, you need to have an effective four-wheel drive system for ambulances and fire trucks also. So okay. the major principle of the four-wheel drive system is same, sir, but the functionality in having 
uh, in ambulances and fire trucks is not present right now in the market prevalently. So that is the important point. Sir. Okay. So I think you have done very good elaborate planning and execution. Congrats. Thank you, sir. Yeah, bye. Hi, Sri Ramu. Sri Ramu, this is Ramendran. Um, I'm I'm so impressed by the way you are handling the Q and A session. Uh, you are you are excellent. You are interesting, definitely. And the one more point, no, I I I could listen to jargons like B F M and B F K, which yes, we are sir. trying to understand even for the, the, even even after the twenty year twenty eight years of experience in the industry. And the, your approach, you know, you are very systematic. Uh, definitely, it, it is so nice. And uh, you are talking about the grant chart and project charter, and uh, you, you, you are uh, very good in demonstrating how the project can be managed. So in that way, you know, uh, rather than the product, the approach, whatever the, your approach, quite I am, I am impressed. So whatever the product, the you know, product is nothing but the outcome of process. So if the, we are establishing the better process, definitely we can expect a better product. In that way, I am impressed by the way in which you are progressing, the process you have followed. And the, whatever the benchmarking practices, no, you, are, you, you, you come across through your presentation. And the way in which you are handling and the way in which, the, with the confidence, you are replying to the jury members and the others, no, it is definitely impressive. You are good here. Great. Thank you so much for the kind words, sir. So if I could use this opportunity to the jury members, so for the very first salon of designing a mask, I had uh, sent in the presentation that I had applied uh, for the design patent at the patent's office. Now, I'm, I'm happy to share that they have uh, awarded me a design patent for the mask. So I thank the jury members and the Autodesk team and the, all yeah, my stakeholders of this competition for, for that. Thank you so much. Oh, outstanding, outstanding, Sardanos. All the very best. Hey, congrats, sir. congrats. Uh, excellent. So you have, so you have, Hello. So you have a job from Caterpillar already. Our son also has got the permanent letter already ready for Shiva <laughs> Yeah, great. Shiva Yes, sir. Your no, presentation that's, that's... was very fantastic, and uh, I could really see all these uh, gun charts. And I have never seen any of these kind of tools in any of the previous presentations of all your uh, friends in the pre in the last six months. Uh, that's wonderful. Have we ever worked on the risk analysis? Uh, no, sir. I haven't been in an industry to work on that, but uh, I had got the opportunity from my college to hear and from a department to hear a lot from the industry experts on uh, Six Sigma and other quality management principles and stuff like that. So I've got an, I haven't practically worked on that for an industry project yet. But uh, I had uh, a brief understanding of what is all about it. Because, uh, because you have our uh, Anna University professor here always with you, you have got the opportunity to learn all the problem solving tools and techniques. Uh. So thanks to Kali Chilvan, sir, for uh, getting thanks, students thanks on board. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I think, yeah, sure. great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is Hari. Yeah, yeah. I have a question. Thank you, uh, Sivadhanus, for this wonderful presentation. I have been seeing your presentation, and I know this matches industry expectation uh, because you know the people who have a four five experience can uh, only fifty percentage of this they can make. Okay. So you have a very good uh, talent. Uh, so my congratulations for this. The second question I have, you know, uh, just now the previous speaker talked about the risk analysis. Yes, sir. I have an experience when we developed the first electric vehicle in France, there was there were no confidence from the customer. OK, because the electric vehicle will get fire and it will not go into the waters. OK, so what we did is we put that particular vehicle in the lake. OK, and taken it out after some time and said to the customers that this will work. OK, similarly, how you can prove that your vehicle will work in water. I understand this is amphibious, but I want to know how it is waterproof. Uh, sir, uh, the materials of the project, I have used the aerospace grade aluminum, and uh, we have the functionalities to make it uh, waterproof. Sir. So the glasses which you have used are uh, waterproof, and, uh, and with the overall uh, design of the uh, structure of the electric vehicle, uh, we have used several materials, several Functionalities, even if it uh, water has any place in this, it could wither off easily. So there are uh, functionalities for that as well, sir. All right, I think. Thanks. Uh, so shall we move to the next candidate now? 
Thank you. Next competitor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I just wanted to check with the jury members or any other people if, if the jury members need any bio break or something, or should we just proceed? We can go ahead. We'll complete all the six. Sir. We'll complete all the six. Okay. We'll let's have a yeah. break and do evaluation. Okay. Fine. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, so next, uh, thank you, Dipankar. Uh, so in meantime, you've, uh, you know, all the jury members, you know, requested to uh, fill up the form online for each of these teams. Yeah, the next team is, uh, yeah. Uh, can anyone confirm the visibility of my screen, please? Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's visible. Yeah. Go ahead. You can see. Can see. Yeah, sir, yeah, sir, it's fine. Yeah, please proceed. Uh, so good evening, one and all present here. Uh, myself, Ishwara Prasad. I'm currently in the uh, pre-final year of my bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering at Tiavarajar College of Engineering, Madurai. So it's a small self-intro. Let's just dive into the presentation. Yeah, this is the goal that I have fixed in the first day of my project uh, to design an ergonomically well-suited electric vehicle with modular design for green urban transportation. Uh, for the ergonomic features, I've considered some important technical specifications and technical details, uh, which are recommended by, recommended by the SAE standards. Uh, and for the modularity, I've done some changes in the design of battery and battery management system. I will explain it in the further slides. Uh, for the green urban transportation, obviously electric vehicles will help you uh, provide the pollution-free environment. Uh, so I would say uh, literally the goal has been satisfied. Yeah, to achieve a goal, uh, we must have some small, small objectives. Uh, by achieving those small objectives, the end goal will be ultimately solved, will be ultimately achieved. Uh, these are all the small design objectives that I have listed for the project. Uh, to design a low-cost urban transportation electric vehicle, uh, to reduce the overall weight of the vehicle, uh, to create a modular design with battery and battery, like I said earlier. And the last two objectives are given based on a business aspect, I mean, in an entrepreneurial way of thinking, uh, to promote green energy and a secular pollution free world by initiating a change in the urban transportation, and uh, to implement solar energy-based automatic uh, charging highway stations. Uh, actually, I want to add something here. Um, I have some experience in working with the smart city project in and around Chennai, which is um, installation of uh, solar charging stations for e-rickshaws. Um, mm -hmm. as, as for the academic purpose, I've, uh, along with my friends, I've developed a systematic approach for Im implementation of the uh, solar charging stations. Um, here is a reference video for the Smart City project um, that we have developed the uh, uh, systematic approach. I will share this link uh, after the presentation. You can uh, see if you're free. Yeah, this is the design process that I followed during the entire course of work. Uh, the work starts with uh, collecting customer requirements, not directly from the customers, but uh, by collecting the data given in the description of AU Fusion 360 Recent Challenge website by the jury members. And for the every requirement, I have listed some engineering decisions and constraints. Uh, with the constraints in mind, uh, and for the every requirement, uh, I have listed some uh, several possible solutions for the given problem. You know, uh, and by analyzing all the uh, possible solutions, I have come up with one best solution. And for that best solution, I've developed the conceptual design and it is further developed to product architecture. And like I said earlier, the technical details are collected from, uh, based on the recommendations of SAE. And now the necessary data is in hand. Let's take it to the further step. Uh, the CAD modeling has been started and ended well. Uh, after completing the CAD modeling part, uh, the topology optimization studies has been done uh, in order to ensure its ergonomic features. Uh, actually, I was partially satisfied with the topology studies and I went for generative design. Actually, generative design taught me a lot uh, it forced me to change the design. In fact, in a smaller portion, I'll explain it later. So uh, this is the design process that I followed during the entire course of work. Yeah, uh, by analyzing all the possible solutions, I've chosen electric bike would be the most suitable solution uh, because uh, in order to manage the high growing urban traffic, uh, the effective mode of transportation would be an electric bike. Um, and uh, as you all know, India is a country with more number of middle class people. Uh, middle class people can easily afford a bike rather than a car for around six or seven lakh and of stuff. So I preferred uh, electric bike would be the best solution. So I uh, went for electric bike. Yeah, now the best solution is in our hand. Um, I've, I've developed the conceptual design and the product architecture. Uh, actually, this was drawn in Autodesk sketchbook software. Uh, one thing to be noted here is I've used timed belt transmission uh, for the power transmission. Uh, this was inspired from the BST Hypertech bike. Uh, this is the this was the most costly electric bike in the modern era. And this is the final model of electric two wheeler. And here you can see some bumps here in the solar panel. Uh, actually, these are uh, flexible and foldable kind of solar panels. Uh, this is a fully open version of it. And this is half closed and this is fully closed. And this can even be rolled and can be placed in the compartment which I've given here. 
and these rods can also be uh, swiped in and can be placed in the compartment along with the solar panels and uh, this is the uh, smart helmet holder and this is adjustable uh, side stand uh, these are all the design innovative uh, the design innovations i have incorporated in my design yeah uh, now now we have completed the model and let's take it to the further step which is topology optimization studies um, what i've done here is i've taken one sixth portion of the wheels uh, in order to reduce the complexity of the study uh, and given it as input uh, the results shows that uh, having two rigid arms uh, ultimately 12 arms around the wheels will give you the give the wheels more strength uh, i'm partially satisfied with the design because i initially had uh, uh, six arms around the wheels uh, so i went for generative design and the results were like uh, i mean mind blowing kind of thing i've got nearly 40 outcomes uh, if i'm not wrong uh, and out of it one best design which is the first, which is the study 3 uh, has been taken and analyzed well i've uh, analyzed it well and it taught me one thing like i can compare this with my earlier version of the wheel uh, here you can see the uh, uh, the wheel has arms with uh, minimum material near the rim portion and more materials near the uh, hub portion but the uh, outcome of generative design is uh, slightly opposite of my design um, what i've learned here is the forces acting on the wheels are like uh, centrifugal in nature for that uh, having more arm near the rim portion will give the wheel more strength so uh, i've changed the design of wheels into this uh, and for the uh, sake of manufacturability i've designed it like this and i updated the wheel in the final model of the bike and this is the rendered uh, image of the bike so with this, I will end my presentation and thanks for listening. And one more personal suggestion is that be safe at home in this pandemic. So thanks for listening. Thank you. Thank you, Ishwara. Uh, good Thank presentation you, and Thank uh, you, well laid out uh, plans for how are the electric bike what you have put. Um, Thank you, uh, one thing again, uh, uh, one I would say suggestion point of view from a, a presentation aspect of it, which yes, you sir. could take it. Is, yes, uh, uh, key, have some key points uh, in each of the slides. So you have, okay, you have prepared a lot of good slides and very yes, informative sir. things. So yes, have some key points at the corner of the slide so that you need not read out the entire presentation. Yeah, yeah, so sir, yeah. That is one thing which we practice in our own vision. Yes, and sir, apart, yeah. apart from that, uh, the concept is really good. And uh, uh, what would be the uh, weight of the vehicle and uh, what would be the uh, distance uh, it will move uh, from the one charge to the next charge? Yes, sir. Uh, Actually, it was inspired by the VST Hypertech bike. Uh, the, I've used the same battery specifications which, have, which, have, which uh, that have been used in the VST Hypertech bike. Uh, in, in one single discharge of the battery, the vehicle can go uh, 300 kilometers. Uh, if, uh, if we are not using the battery power for mobile charging kind of thing, uh, in a single discharge, the, bat, uh, the electric vehicle can go uh, around 300 kilometers. Sir. And uh, the weight of the vehicle would be uh, 149 kilometer, uh, which, is, which was after after giving the material material limitations in the Fusion 360, uh, I've, I I've, uh, saw that uh, the overall weight of the vehicle is 147 uh, kilograms. Okay, and uh, it is meant for uh, two passengers, right? Yeah, sir. Yeah, with some extra seats for uh, good comfortness. Actually, we are all Indians. With uh, we we may not prefer going with two two persons only. That's why I given some extra seatings for the good comfortness. Thank, thank you, you thank you uh, thank mr isotra prasad this is suresh here good evening sir yeah good evening actually uh, you your conceptual design is very amazing i think you, you have copied from the tigers uh, activity, yeah sir yeah, right? yeah yeah sir actually uh, the, yeah. it's a biomimic of the pouncing nature of bikes i mean tigers that's why i named it as pouncer yeah correct one more thing your solar solar panels are uh, flexible in nature and uh, we can remove and we can fix it again. Right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Mm. What is the maximum speed of your vehicle? Uh, actually, uh, we have uh, in this bike, I have incorporated three uh, modes sir, like economy mode, normal mode, and uh, uh, I, mean, I mean, racing mode. Uh, yeah. In racing modes, it can go nearly 110 km per hour, sir. Yeah, in that case, you have uh, yes, gearbox, sir. right? Gearbox is there, not single speed, it is, right? No, sir. I, actually, uh, it was like uh, uh, the the it's it's not on the gearbox. Uh, the power will be given based on a in some alterations given by the uh, electronic control module, uh, which is directly connected to the motor, sir. Okay. Like it was indirectly related with the resistance kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. One more thing, attractive thing is uh, your uh, generative design and the mass distribution in the wheel. So that is a very actually very good uh, approach. Congrats. Thank you. 
Yeah, go ahead. Sir, this is Ravindran. Actually, uh, I, I enjoyed your presentation, the way in which you are uh, uh, compiling all those things and uh, putting it forward. And, Thank you, sir. Uh, you are looking great, like Thank your you, vehicle. Great. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, with regard, you have uh, come across uh, a vehicle called Leaf from Nissan. Have you come across that? What, sir? A vehicle called Leaf from Nissan. It's uh, a no, sir. I... No, sir, I haven't heard it, but I will look for it, sir. Sure, okay. It uh, yeah, actually uses the same technology what you have uh, gotten. It's, it uses a technology called plug-in technology. And, okay, sir, uh, okay. Just uh, plug-in should be available on the roads, on the side of the platforms. Wherever you want to know, it is free now. Very frequently, you can have those kind of stations. So you can uh, plug in your vehicle and get it charged. So if I'm going to buy your vehicle, how much you will uh, give it for me? What is the cost uh, uh, workout for your vehicle? Sir, uh, yeah, sir, I have estimated the cost uh, cost by uh, just only for the production purpose. It, it, it costs around uh, uh, 1 lakh 10,000 uh, if you are going for mass production means. Um, and I haven't calculated the uh, X factory price, like I haven't calculated the market price. Uh, for As for the production price is concerned, it is for 1 lakh 10,000 uh, when we are going for mass production, sir. It's in India, we've got yes. any scooters, electric scooters nowadays, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, yes. We don't have like, any uh, like, like bikes, Aether bike. Sir, right? yes, yes, sir. Aether bike and uh, uh, like uh, Revolt RV, RV, sir. So those are the new ones? Yes, sir. Yeah, new ones. Okay, wonderful, man. All the best. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. I have a question for you. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, sir. It's, it's a wonderful presentation, right? Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Very uh, methodically you have presented. Uh, thank you, sir. Compared to a conventional, I mean, the existing, uh, I mean, bike, uh, you, you, you use a generative design to design this component, right? So, what yes, are the number of components in the existing one, and uh, what, what about your in the generative design one that the vehicle? Yeah, yeah, sir. Uh, I can I can say that uh, it is entirely uh, my generated. Uh, I, actually, I done generative design only to study um, what can be improved in the design, uh, so, which means uh, by considering the manufacturability, that also will uh, come to play, no, sir. Uh, for the uh, cost concerned, uh, if you go for generative design like, to design um, some uh, spider rope kind of structures uh, that will uh, increase our cost of manufacturing. So for that concern, I have uh, taken generative design only to study and I have uh, changed the design into uh, like uh, what, what I've learned from that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Hari, I think you're on mute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just now I got unmuted. So thank you, uh, Ishwar Prasad. It was a thank very you, good thank presentation. You, thank so, you. Uh, so, uh, so what do you think, you know, uh, this EV penetration in two-wheeler, if it has to happen so fast, what do you think has to happen from a product yeah, point of view? Yeah, sir. Um, I mean, the government should order to uh, in, uh, completely ban that uh, conventional IC engine bikes, but that's not possible, but that's one kind of solution we can say. Uh, and by installing um, electric charging stations uh, around the city, uh, the possibility of uh, installing the, the possibility of uh, coming uh, uh, electric bikes would increase, sir. which means uh, everyone will uh, kind of uh, try to buy. You no, know, uh, we can charge at any time, any point of time. Like we are, we, like we can uh, incorporate petrol, that kind of thing. Uh, by incorporating the uh, charging stations, that that is highly possible, sir. Thanks, thanks, Ishwar Prasad, for your uh, views. Yes, thank you. Yes, sir. thank you, sir. Yeah, yes, Ramesh, you can invite the next Yeah, speaker. I think. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know, thank you. Uh, thank, thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, Ishwar Prasad. Thank you, sir. Uh, so the next team, uh, you know, I would like to uh, invite uh, Mr. Bharat uh, from the. Yeah. So before getting into discussion, I would like to give a short introduction about myself. I'm Bharat Tarke and I'm from Bellur. And I've done my schooling in system education high secondary school. And after that, I joined a mechanical engineering sandwich at PhD College of Technology. And during my course of time, I developed interest in the field of designing. And I've also earned a certified credential from Autodesk, and I'm a certified Lean Six Sigma LOA. So now coming to the design process, the objective of uh, design challenge is to design an electric vehicle which would be suitable for urban transportation. So I decided to combine two things in my vehicle. That is, this F360 city rider can transport both the cargo and the passenger. And this is powered by lithium ion battery pack, and the battery pack capacity needs to be ensured so that it travels for 200 kilometers. Now, the main difference between the traditional design approach and the generative design approach is that 
Between the traditional design approach, the time taken with the evaluation and validation process by human beings will be quite large. So, hence the time to production gets increased. But whereas if you see the generative design approach, you can give the software itself all the input parameters, material constraints, etc. And the validation process will be taking care of the artificial intelligence. So, in this case, the productivity can be drastically increased. So, what are the goals and challenges that we have faced? So, to design any components, mainly in this electric vehicle, the part should be of lightweight and the motor should provide the necessary torque requirement. And the design should be in such a way so that it opposes the it overcomes the opposing back. And since it has a battery, we should we should have that we should ensure that there should be effective cooling system for efficient heat transfer. And the port should satisfy all the home modification parameters and it should be roadworthy, etc. So coming to the design process, I have a few constraints for my vehicle. That is, this vehicle has a total payload of 700 kg and curve weight of around 1300 kgs. And I focus more into design uh, rather than production. So after considering this. Uh, I also considered the top acceleration speed of 100 km per hour in 10 seconds. So coming to the design process, um, to calculate the motor power requirement, there are three resistive forces that act on a vehicle. One is the rolling resistance, which acts between the tire and the road surface. Another one is the grading resistance, which acts on the wheel when a vehicle is running on a slope. And the third, third one is an aerodynamic drag. So considering all these things, I've calculated the weighted power and peak power. And I've considered the 155 bar 55 R14 radial ply tires. And according to the information given in the product catalog, I've calculated the diameter of a wheel. And I also calculated the wheel RPM and motor RPM by taking suitable gear ratios. And I also calculated the initial torque requirement. So considering all these uh, design process, design calculations, we need to go for selecting a magnet, uh, motor. Actually, there are various motors available in the market, say like uh, AC induction motors, which is uh, popularly used in Tesla F model cars, and switched electrons motors, etc. But for this application, I choose some DC series motor because it is a uh, better for traction application and uh, it has quite a high power density. And I have chosen uh, GBM 210-300-CT series from Global Vehicle Motor Data Sheet from Parker. And this is just the information given in the product catalog. This shows like uh, how the torque varies at different speeds and the torque on the vision. Now, after selecting a motor, we need to go for selecting a battery. So actually there are various batteries available in the market, say like lead acid batteries, lithium metal hydride batteries, etc. But why we need to go for lithium ion battery pack is that it has high energy density and it has high power to weight ratio and it has relatively low signature. So considering all these things, I have chosen 350 volt, 120 ampere lithium ion battery pack and have calculated 42 kilowatt hour uh, power delivered and range. This vehicle can uh, travel up to 216 kilometers for single charge. These all the information that I have already mentioned in the report. Now, after selecting a battery, we need to go for arranging it. So for that, uh, we need uh, we need have the knowledge of uh, series and parallel configurations. By considering that. Thing, I have uh, arranged the battery in such a manner that there are 95 cells in series and 43 cells in parallel. So this is how the battery should be arranged to provide the necessary power for our vehicle. And also calculate the charging time requirement. So now, after all the design calculations that I have mentioned, I just input the parameters in the software. This is the generative design for platform. And this is how the model forms. I have taken like a ladder type of chassis frame for my vehicle, since it is a kind of a lift truck, because it should uh, transport both the cargo and the passenger. So um, this is uh, just a proposal, new proposal of a bladeless windshield wiper system, which I have inculcated in my design vehicle. The main disadvantage in the conventional mechanical wiper system is that uh, those uh, mechanical wipers will be flowing, streaking around the windshield. So if any dirt particles fall on it, it may get some sort of scatters. But there are, in the new proposal, we can keep uh, linear slit nozzles at certain angles and high velocity jet stream will be flowing over it. So in, in that case, if any dust particles fall on it, it will not touch the windshield, rather it just flows over the top of it. And it may also not create any sort of distraction to the driver. It's the new design, which is under research. And I also done aerodynamic analysis for my vehicle, uh, in which you can see from this graph, the coefficient of lift converges to zero if a vehicle is running at top speed, that is 100 km per hour. And I also show you the velocity control pressure competing in this. So I just summarized everything. These are the major parts and details along with the chassis frame. And this is just a simple uh, product catalog for my vehicle. And for all these informations, for the, all these values, the recent calculations have been mentioned in the report. So before getting into Q&A session, I would like to show you a short video of my workflow process. So this is how I model the vehicle in Fusion 360. And generating work design works like this. Like it adds material where there is high stress and removes material where there is lower stress. This is the design of front cabin. So this is all about my design work. And thanks for the wonderful opportunity to by the Autodesk team. Uh, it is interesting. You are talking like a professor. Maybe you may be impressed by some professor. 
it is so interesting and uh, i i i i love to listen to the different things from your presentation one was the at the end of the presentation you made a kind of uh, catalog kind of thing it has a lot of uh, nomenclature or features kind of thing no that was uh, like yeah. a service manual it was so so good and the initially uh, put on kind of vision kind of thing so how that could be what could be the weight and what could be the yeah. so you you it seems you know the way of uh, capturing the voice of customer Uh, it reminds yeah. me. Just I am telling you this word alone. Uh, when our uh, Tata, they were they were in the verge of introducing the first of its kind of car in the from that brand. Earlier, no, the only the multi-vehicle vehicle kind of thing or bus or taxi only was there. Yeah. So when I was introducing the car, I was telling by that time only the ambassador and Zen was the ruling the industry. So that time, no, you have captured this thing. How you made? No, uh, I think he is the preceding person for you. So what he told you know the, we are going to design a uh, car which will have the aesthetic of the internal dimension of ambassador and the price of more than eight hundred. So he captured all the benchmarking points and he put everything as a vision. The vice versa. So that kind of approach you know the first slide you know is interesting. Yeah. And last slide also yes, because the nice uh, number plate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just evaluated uh, all the design process rather than uh, certain products. That's what I made the application in my. Bharat, uh, Saranand here. Yeah. Best of, best of. Yes, good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening, Bharat. Uh, all the very best. Uh, uh, I would say, as uh, uh, Mr. Ravindran mentioned, uh, uh, excellent way of uh, presenting in a forum where uh, you got the, all the right approach which needs to be presented, and uh, the, the seamless way and the the cool attitude that is really matters uh, in a presentation and uh, not bothered or not worried about what would be the outcome. So that is the most important thing. All the very best. And uh, uh, the concept uh, with which you started the vision you had and uh, the outcome, what it gave, was really uh, very nice. And uh, it went; uh, it was a seamlessly transformed. So that way, I would say uh, it's a very good presentation. And uh, keep up the good work and all the very best in your career. Thank you, sir. Mr. Bharat. Yes, sir. Mr. Bharat, this is Suresh here. Yes, sir. Good evening. Actually, I could see a complete presentation yes. from uh, you and. Uh, Your goals and challenges are very clear, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. And your design calculations are very elaborate. Calculation has been made, and it is very, very clear to the audience and the juries. Yeah. Then you have included proposals also. Yeah. And you have done complete analysis also, right? These are yeah, the complete very analysis. big advantages in your in your presentation. Yeah. Like a, Finally, one question. Yes. Yeah. Finally, one question. So, what is the budgetary cost of your vehicle? Because it is the versatile and mm -hmm. uh, for uh, uh, cargo transport and uh, yeah. uh, man power uh, transport also this man transport also it is useful. Now what is the budgetary cost of your vehicle? So after evaluating all these things and uh, uh, given information from the product catalogs, it approximated around twelve uh, lakhs. The vehicle will cost around twelve lakhs, including all the battery management systems and uh, induction three uh, phase induction motors and uh, DC DC motors etc. And I also proposed uh, it means it. that, yeah. Actually, I included yeah, the yeah. Uh, latest windshield wiper system proposal, and if under this, actually, it will cost a lot, sir, when compared to the mechanical wiper system. So, for urban transportation case, this is a quite price, sir. Well, like uh, it will cost around twelve lakhs. So, it is on par with uh, whatever the commercial uh, right now the vehicle cost. Uh, it is on par with the vehicle cost, right? Yes, sir. Because now yes, electrical sir. vehicles are costing more when conver compared to the conventional vehicles. Now your cost yeah. is equivalent to the conventional vehicles, right? This yes, is advantages. Very good yes. presentation. Thank you. Nice presentation. So before yes, uh, getting into this kind of a uh, competition, or uh, what made you to really think about the kind of competencies you really need to imbibe uh, to apply all your learnings? Uh, yeah. Maybe you are the final year of your science program. Yes, sir. So, um, uh, like now, you have got a satisfaction that uh, you have applied all your subjects. Yes. Yeah, so, right. how you have made yourself ready for this kind of a program? So, actually, uh, this design challenge uh, it started during the month of July, sir. Uh, with the design of, uh, with the objective is to design a face mask for police department. And uh, even uh, like from PSG Tech, uh, I've learned many things uh, as a sandwich program student. Uh, I've learned many things in industry, how to do that analysis of a vehicle, how to do the aerodynamic analysis, everything, sir. So I, was, I didn't get uh, any chance to uh, apply those skills. Actually, I applied those skills in some competition, and uh, it is still a virtual event, and it is easy for me to apply those skills in terms of software. And future digital platform will be a lot, sir. 
connected. Yeah. So uh, these uh, electric vehicle technologies, um, though they are more costlier than nowadays because of the uh, kind of um, um, facilities or the infrastructure, um, we'll say after 10 years or 20 years when it's going to be you know, a normal productionism, what you would be, what you would think that how people would be willing to move from IC engines to um, EVs, EVs, what do you think about it? Generally, no, people, to, no, like uh, teenage people want to drive gasoline engines, you know, yeah, how they, uh, the conception move towards uh, EVs, how do you think? Yeah. Actually, uh, the place, two, two wheelers and uh, popular RX 100, which uh, came, comes with a two stroke engine, is quite popular, like, uh, like uh, all the teenage people will used to love that, but it will create a uh, lot of uh, global warming. It will uh, pollute the environment in such a manner. So, um, if people like us can understand and uh, they can uh, come over it, sir, because uh, in, in recently the revolt uh, electron volt and uh, ether also comes with the design, like Aprilia type of bike, which is very stylish. It's like it's coming like a Dio bike. So, now teenage people also used to love that uh, Dio type of bikes and rather than uh, the two stroke engines. So, I guess people would transform. Uh, to the electric vehicles, if it come under that economical aspects, if the return is more stylish, it will evolve. So, what is the cost component of the vehicle you we have designed? Cost component of the total cost of the vehicle? Yes, sir. Uh, as I mentioned, the uh, cost component yeah. of the batteries, particularly. Yeah, actually, I have taken a 430, 42 kilowatt uh, battery, sir, 350 volt. And uh, I have arranged a cell with, uh, with the information given in the EMB battery coordinates, sir. If each cell has a nominal voltage of 3.7 volt, and each cell will uh, like uh, uh, cost around uh, uh, 10 to 15 dollars, sir. So if you take uh, my battery management, uh, how I manage the battery, how to pack the battery, it came around 4,300 cells. So by this, uh, we can tell that that entire cost, uh, mostly like 50% or 50% of cost for my vehicle will go to battery, sir. Thank you, all the best. Yeah. Uh, 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 so Bharato, why you have given a name F360? Or... Yeah, because actually this software is made a lot uh, to implement this, uh, to convert my ideas into conceptual design. So I have given the name from F360, so that F360 could be lighter. Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good presentation, but a uh, lot of calculation and analysis, really good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you all. Uh, thank you, Bharat. Uh, mm -hmm. So let's uh, move to the next theme. Uh, you know, I would like to invite uh, uh, three team members. It's like a Jagannath and his team from uh, Tagaraj College of Engineering. And uh, its team name is uh, Ignire. We are the masters. I'm going to present our car design, the Ignair to you. Myself, I am R. Silvendran, and my teammates are S.P. Aditya Pandian and R. Jagannathan. We are pursuing second year mechanical in Tiaraja College of Engineering. First of all, let us see about project description. Our car is a sedent type car that is a range challenging e vehicle. It is designed in the way that the air drag is minimized. The aerodynamics of our our car is uh, made according to the design of a jet so that I'm pretty sure that we could feel the ambience of flying. And let us move to specifications. Batteries. And the battery is a, a 28 kilowatt hour battery with a range of about uh, 350 kilometers. And the battery uses 2170 sized lithium ionic cells. And uh, it requires a charge of uh, 6 hours AC current and two hours DC current for full charge. Its efficiency is about 16 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. And the capacity of super capacitors is about 32 volt that produces maximum of 35 kilowatts. And the braking system used here is a regenerative braking system that is really conservative and help us to build 40% more energy. And the motor used here is a synchronized electric motor and the total number of uh, luxurious seats present here of two seats uh, that is leather coated. And the trunk is pre present in the front side of the car. And the steering is a stylish uh, jet, jet like a A shaped uh, yoke steering. Uh, 
அந்த சஸ்பென்ஷன் சிஸ்டம் யூஸ்ட் ஹியர் இஸ் டிஸ்டிங்டிவ் இண்டிபெண்ட் சஸ்பென்ஷன் சிஸ்டம் அந்த ஹெட் லைட்ஸ் யூஸ்டு ஆர் ஆஃப் சிங்கிள் ஃப்ரேம் பியூட்டிஃபுல் ஹெட் லைட்ஸ் அந்த குவாரண்டைனிங் சிஸ்டம் யூஸ்டு ஹியர் இஸ் எக்ஸ்க்ளூசிவ் ஸ்டெடி ஸ்டேட் குவாரண்டைனிங் சிஸ்டம் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஐ ஓவ் டு ஆதித்யூ பாண்டியன் Thank you, Selvendran. And uh, here I am going to tell the objectives that we undergone while doing the IGNAIR. And the two objectives were, the first objective we did was, the, it was given by the competition, where we need to do an electric vehicle using auto, auto desk fusion 360 and uh, imparting the generative design. And the second objective for our team was making a cost-friendly and eco-friendly car, where it is mainly targeting the middle class people and the poor people, especially in the Indian society. you all know that uh, all uh, all are having their own dreams of buying a electric uh, electric car or uh, rather than a car and at present uh, at present stage it is a trend now the i am also going to tell you the challenges that we undergone as this is constructed in a prime uh, prime sedan car where it is high range our car would travel uh, for 300 kilometers in a per, per cycle charge and as i told it, it is affordable and cost efficient and many jury members and the participants here would have uh, just uh, experienced a travel in a uh, aeroplane but you would have not ex- experienced as a pilot you know so we have just imparted as it is it has a creativity where we are imparted the ambience of the jet or a pilot where you can just drive it and, and you itself can feel yourself as a pilot uh, driving the car it is a lightweight and aesthetic uh, uh, and the door opening also as we have inspired from the jet we it will open upwards and uh, next i am going to t- tell you the goals of the project we did the igner actually is a new uh, unique e vehicle where all the uh, uh, all the people will buy and it's uh, affordable and uh, cost effective as uh, before i told and uh, there are some high range power operating systems like regenerative braking system we are using regenerative braking system because when uh, there are when we apply sudden brakes the energy must not be uh, uh, gone as a heat but we are just uh, reconverting it as uh, electricity and uh, for uh, for some other cost also we are just uh, trying to develop like solar panels and uh, air batteries some ex- uh, uh, resource conversion kits uh, according to the cost and uh, according to the census uh, there are middle class people most buy uh, cars like kia and uh, uh, no, suzuki uh, model uh, swift car i i i will i will give you a challenge that our car would also be like this it will uh, known as a people's car because uh, our car is that much uh, grateful and low budget full and it will create an impact on the society next i will hand over the presentation in the design process we gone we gone through by while designing this uh, uh, our ignar uh, the body parts are chassis uh, body and the inner components uh, we choose to go on for a casting fabricating process for both the chassis and body and which is manufactured by using aluminum magnesium steel alloys and the inner components uh, we choose to go for iot manufacturing the same uh, aluminum magnesium steel alloys are used and extra carbon fiber and other are used carbon fiber uh, is we choose because of its high strength and good durability next the conditions and cons- strains that we have uh, gave uh, while during generated design uh, of our rim the force we have applied is uh, of input 12.8 kN and the materials we have chosen for is aluminum and steel alloy why we have chosen aluminum is because of its light weight which in turn increases the velocity of the uh, uh, our igniter then which in turn increases the uh, electric efficiency of our uh, igniter the manufacturing process we have chosen to go on for is iot manufacturing not to process manufacture the rim uh, next this is our final generative designed uh, 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 resultant uh, uh, of our generative designed rim uh, this is our final rendered polar uh, image of our igner let me play a small uh, video to explain our design remainder just 2 minutes left please yes, uh, next our, uh, our 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 primary goal is to provide our igniter to the middle class uh, people of every uh, person in india we mainly we target indian main middle class society the expected cost of our uh, igniter is 8 to 12 lakhs including all the uh, production cost uh, uh, at this at this current uh, uh, current market no electric car uh, will uh, having uh, at this low uh, price range uh, if we introduce our uh, Ignite in that price range means all middle class people can afford it and we will provide uh, and we will uh, achieve every middle class uh, dream people to have uh, an, a car. 
thank you for this golden opportunity sir i am i am kalai selvan here team is a great presentation can you tell me how we can bring down the cost to 12 lakh rupees when compared to other vehicles which are available in the market sir uh, we first calculated the uh, battery uh, uh, cost sir uh, which will uh, which will cost about uh, 3.5 lakh sir for uh, for that what uh, for our, ba- our, our battery we use sir and for uh, super capacitor the 32 uh, volt super capacitor it cost around uh, 2 lakh sir uh, so the battery or uh, power supply uh, is around uh, 6 lakh sir and other manufacturing process we managed to get to uh, around uh, 12 lakh sir okay now what to juries sir the design is also uh, verified with gyroscopic effect also sir because uh, as we mentioned before it is having a steady state cornering uh, because many many of the cars if you see uh, at present the mercedes has adopted the steady state cornering now only in the new concept car but before that many of the car have not adopted it but we have adopted that also if uh, we can also do the gyroscopic effect in a uh, good manner in this car sir okay Hi Aditya. Yes sir. Aditya, this is Ravindra. Yes sir. This is a good presentation. This is the first time we are seeing the presentation as by the team members. So in that way, no, this is good. And yes, one sir. one point apart from that, no, your friend or your team members, no, repeatedly you are telling this is your target group or your target audience is uh, a middle class people or the underprivileged yes, or poor people in that way. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes, sir. Is it apart from yes, that? That is a question we are asking. Is it affordable that those people, that your target audience or target group, can uh, affordable to get a car with the price tag of 11 or 12 lakh, or, sorry, 10 or 11 lakh? Do you think sir, this actually, parallelly? Uh, yeah, I am having, yes sir. Yes sir, you can tell me another question, sir. Okay, okay. Actually, one more thing, you know, you can think of another one scenario. The Maruti 800 car was the very cheapest car when it was introduced, and yes, still it is maintaining the same, same status quo, Maruti 800. because it was the version was changed as alto and other thing but it is still maintained as low budget car it is yes. maintained but the, you, you can see what, what is the uh, monthly selling monthly selling by maruti but yes. think of another one scenario tata was introducing a car called a nano it is also low yes, budget that car it was not at all moving so yes, what what could be the difference what sir, could be the difference difference. between this yes sir uh, actually at present trend electric vehicle has uh, created a huge impact sir and uh, it's a uh, dream that all middle class as well as poor people wanted a car but uh, if you see means uh, according to 2021 uh, 2021 census and 2020 census all most of the top selling cars were uh, like a uh, swift car and uh, kia from nissan and uh, if you uh, from uh, from this we can understand that there are people in uh, middle class people who are buy even uh, for the rupees 8 lakhs rupees but uh, it's it must be a good car if you see as you told in nano most of them didn't buy because if you see it's a compact space uh, it is very uh, small as well as uh, the aesthetic look is not uh, that much uh, good sir. and uh, now what we have given is a futuristic model where we have also imparted the jet like ambience sir, where you can just feel like you are flying in the road sir the yoke steering starting okay but, that, uh, okay flying okay, it's, it's up to you you are the designer you design whether flying like a jet in the road no whether it is expectation of the middle class people it's up to you huh? yes. and another one story only i will just tell it uh, one minute story actually yes. when the pulsar model was launched the pulsar 150 and 180 model was launched by bajaj there yes. was a discussion between uh, the father bajaj and son bajaj rahul bajaj he was objecting that but by the time only they were launched to pul- boxer and uh, another one bike so it was costing around uh, 35 35000 to 40000 only Yes, Even this price tag, the price tag of Pulsar 150 and 180 was 60,000, 55,000 to 60,000. He was yes. objecting, but that time no Rahul Bajaj convinced me such way. We are, our target audience, our target group is nothing but the students. Yes, the students' yes. requirement is our student attitude is they will just go and stand in front of the father and tell, "Daddy, I need this vehicle." That's all. Yeah, they won't bother about price tag. But you are targeting yeah. the audience of public, common public, or the underprivileged poor people. and you are going to pick the price tag at 11 lakh yes, okay thank you yes, but apart from that yes good presentation i i could see some interesting thing from you yes sir thank you team yes, uh, hello astral team this is hari here uh, yes, thanks for a yes, wonderful sir. presentation yes, i just have few question uh, maybe first one is why you want to go you want to have a battery i mean a lithium battery as well as super capacitors 
sir because sir, uh, uh, if the if the charge uh, run out means in the long drive means uh, they if the super capacitor was present means uh, uh, it is already charged by the movement of car sir we can uh, uh, place a uh, motor and add car the electric energy sir for the regenerative systems we have just uh, re- yes, re- 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 regenerating the electric sir especially our car will uh, just give a 30% plus efficiency rather than a normal efficiency especially in hilly areas as i told that uh, in during uh, when you are applying sudden brakes the energy will be restored and uh, while you are using super capacitors it is like a boost sir, for you when you are uh, uh, getting a eff- efficiency of a battery is up to uh, 100 uh, for 100% you are getting a, a 95% as efficiency uh, for a uh, battery means you will get uh, just a boostage of uh, 3% for the battery so it will uh, totally uh, for 100% electric efficiency we will get 98% sir that's what yes, that is the purpose of using yeah. it is simply yeah. more efficient than uh, normal motors we used with it today like sir so we will yeah. also impart at a synchronous electric motor sir because uh, yes, sir. synchronous electric motor yeah. produces good efficiency sir Yes, yes, I understand. Super capacitors will give the punch uh, what customer needs. Uh, but when you compare uh, the cost of a battery and the cost of the super capacitors, I think super capacitors are much, much higher. Yes. Sir. And uh, today, do we have any comp- any vehicle in the market passenger segment having super capacitors? Yes, sir. Tesla and Porsche also uh, they have released a models uh, in, uh, uh, before one uh, one month, I think so, sir. Porsche and uh, mm-hmm. uh, Honda. Uh, uh, Honda Nissan uh, Honda and Nissan they are but uh, I am uh, confirm that a Tesla model yes is having sir super capacity yeah that's what you know so the you know the one way one end you know you want to give it to a middle class uh, but uh, super capacitors i don't think it's uh, there in entry level electric vehicles uh, so we should have a trade off here yeah yes sir but this Thank is you. a futuristic model so that uh, in future we could afford to middle class people sir that would be our uh, actually thing. the motto how means uh, present now before and all we thought android mobile is a comfort but present android mobile is a basic thing which every person was having same like that if you started the igner uh, manufactured from now means within 5 years all the people will just like to buy all the cars like uh, how the android is now android mobiles are now at the present trend like okay. that electric vehicles will change sir yes, like, yeah yeah got got your more. point yes, sir, yes also yes, we did the calculation sir uh, for the ca- purchasing of super capacitor and the battery is about uh, 4 lakhs sir uh, according to that we reduced that uh, Uh, uh amount of uh, uh, what uh, bat- uh, battery sir lithium and battery sir yeah, okay okay understood understood yes, yes, sir. thank you yes, thank you yes, sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you for uh, for uh, is... giving this golden opportunity sir thank you thank the, you the all team is really again. enjoying the benefit of uh, team in q and a session yes sir yeah. being a team no it is so useful in the q and a well managed yes, yeah suresh kumar yeah yeah thank you yeah yeah thing is sir see um you all have uh, uh, made up your mind that india is uh, surrounded by middle class people and uh, nowhere india is going to become super bar or uh, like we are going to grow big uh, in terms of growing uh, making ourselves uh, more capable so no sir like, it's not so like that sir but i think that if we all are middle class people we will only try to will only india will have to will as well never ever think because in foreign or western countries wherever you go do you really hear about middle class Lower class or higher class because they all make cost-effective vehicles. Yes, sir. That is yes, what, what people can afford. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't mention middle class, lower class, and all. Okay. Sir, so we, are not, uh, we are not. We are not talking. Illo Paramanand sir is coming. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Aditya, all the very best. Uh, Mr. Suresh is a passionate Indian, and uh, I can understand that uh, he doesn't yes, like sir. calling uh, middle class and upper class. But anyway. the same question i was asking it should be a people's car and uh, it should be affordable that's it and, and that's very, the motto sir yeah. for that only i told like that sir yeah that's a very good attempt and uh, uh, a lot of inputs uh, i am seeing this for the first time of course uh, yes, good attempt all the very best yes sir, yes, sir. thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir for uh, giving us the opportunities so sir don't you. take in mistakes sir i am uh, uh, for uh, <laughs> because in india uh, there are a lot of people who are more affordable they don't own cars even okay Yes, sir. And there are a lot of people who not uh, cannot afford a car. They have got superior cars, premium cars. Yes, okay, sir. so it's that way. It's what you like. That's okay. There's nothing like call middle class, lower class. Sir, one plus one, sir. Sir, one uh, is the driver. Many, one yes, sir, two. Passenger. One is a uh, guy is a driver, and another one is a passenger. Sir, uh, now it's now only two, sir, because of the space constraint. Oh, only two. Yes, sir. But uh, but we are having uh, some models. The thought process is first the first model, basic model of the Igner is this, sir. There are many models we can update, sir. Like Alpha, Alpha Plus, like that. Just uh, increase the spaces and the. Uh, 
cost is much behind schedule yes sir so ramesh over to you thank you team yeah, thank uh, thank you thank you thank all you, once sir. again thank you team you can uh, you can unshare uh, so uh, the next uh, thing is I, i request all the jury members because that's uh, where they can press the button called as submit you know for all your online evaluation and then uh, we are going to move the uh, uh, jury members in a separate breakout room uh, just give me one second and order this team together to create a collaborative vr space we created an exhibition environment where the students using their 3d avatars can display their model let's experience the virtual tour of monthly winners and model exhibition
can start sharing their experiences. So yeah, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, actually, uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Autodesk India Private Limited and uh, CUIC and University for organizing AU Fusion 360 Design Challenge. Uh, because before the commencement of this design challenge, I was nothing in CAD modeling. But now I've got some wonderful exposures in CAD modeling. And in fact, uh, Fusion 360 has become my favorite CAD softwares of all time. And the topics were completely new to me back then. Uh, but for the competition, uh, I've learned uh, many things regarding the topic uh, so as to design some, something good, uh, which is highly helpful for the society. So as a whole, it was a wonderful experience uh, on this throughout this journey. Uh, and many people impose negative things on lockdown, you know, uh, that the lockdown changed my life, the lockdown ruined my career kind of things. But in my opinion, uh, lockdown gave me a precious gift of uh, standing in front of some great industry people for delivering some words. Uh, for this, I have to mention my mentor, Professor B. Shankar, uh, because he is the one who seeded this uh, CAD modeling skill set in me. Uh, I hope uh, now, he is, um, now it has grown well as a plant, and I promise you, sir, uh, it will grow well as a tree and will produce some wonderful fruits. I mean, uh, I'll create some more in innovative designs for the real-time problem in the society. I finally thank uh, Mr. Rohit, sir and all other coordinators of this design challenge on behalf of all my uh, co-participants for making this a successful event. Uh, Rohit, sir, we owe you a debt because you are the one who organized that incremental series for every month challenge. And uh, I know one thanks will never compensate your efforts. And uh, thank you for being supportive, sir. Uh, we, glad, we are glad to have you by our, by our side, sir. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Ishwar Prasad. Uh, my thank request to all the, all the participants, student participants, you can capture your voice through a video and you can uh, for two minutes or three minutes, then you can send it to, to see voice for our future reference. Uh, any, any other student friends? Yeah. Bharat, Bharat is asking one minute. Uh, can you can you unmute? Just one minute. Let me see if I can unmute you. I didn't sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, actually, it's been an immense pleasure, sir, to be a part of this different challenge. And uh, this digital challenge started during the month of July and it came till uh, November on the monthly challenge events. We start with the mega challenge event. Actually, it's been a great platform for us to explore our skills. We could able to apply the engineering skills, what we have learned uh, two or three years in the colleges in a productive manner. And surely the Fusion 360 platform is doing a lot to convert my ideas to quantitative to defines. So it's been a great pleasure sir, to be a part of this challenge. A year long journey from from the uh, for the AU Fusion 360 Design Challenge. And it's been certainly an amazing and a great learning experience for all the students from Anna University across Tamil Nadu to effectively showcase their designs to uh, industry leaders of great repute to and interact with them and involve design. So I'd like to thank all the stakeholders of the AU Fusion 360 Design Challenge, the, CUAZ, Anna University, Autodesk, and Imaginate, and all the other people of them to make this event a great success. Thank you so much. In 10 years, uh, we were associated with uh, Autodesk, and every time uh, within a short span of notice, uh, they were helping us. So, And also, we could able to see our students uh, who are participating all over Tamil Nadu in uh, these kinds of competition, which is need of the heart, sir. So thank you very much for your interaction as well as uh, your support, sir. And I would like to thank Anna University for uh, collaborating everyone and connecting us with this great platform. Thank you very much, professors and industrial experts. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I think somebody else also raised Not only to Ben, just to participate is a, a huge thing. So you have to like, uh, what, put your full, uh, full thing into the event and then work on it. Uh, for the last event, we couldn't get uh, we didn't get a lot of time to do the challenge, so we did a lot of last minute changes and all. And I believe because of that, but it was it was a lot of fun doing this one, a uh, ton of fun. My uh, my friends were also saying, uh, like they had so much fun doing this challenge. Uh, so yeah, that's it. A great experience for the students as well as, as an academician, uh, myself, Sarana Permal, a faculty member in uh, Tyagaraj College of Engineering. Uh, surely, this kind of uh, challenge, challenging uh, competitions will uh, help the students to uh, orient towards our industry readiness. That's what, uh, as an academician, I could see that. Uh, surely, this kind of experiences, they need to develop themselves 
they will be uh, not only technically they will be uh, have an uh, skills in terms of uh, interpersonal intrapersonal also so this will help them to work much better there uh, it will be uh, enhances their efficiency while working in their own career and i have to thank all the organizers for giving this kind of an opportunity for the uh, students and i am also happy that uh, two of our teams uh, has been uh, shortlisted for this uh, round uh, really that is a wonderful experience for us also how our students has behaving in the sense it can be an outcome of our uh, academic work also so we could see some kind of an um, realistic uh, outputs uh, that will be helpful for us uh, we, that will be motivates us to proceed further and doing new experiments on our curriculum also uh, thanks a lot for the opportunity this team i think uh, it is appreciable because the innovation what exactly we call it like you know getting out of like uh, from the student is most important thing and uh, the initiation from autodesk and from an university is really appreciable and then like you know if more and more of things are there like this again you know, always will be uh, we'd like to what you call it you know? that uh, he is uh, positively sharing this uh, to the, the juniors to take part in the uh, further events so yeah overall it was a fantastic experience sir uh, uh, we were at the sessions in the online but again uh, as i uh, thought that the online sessions will have some limitation but to my surprise uh, we have a uh, lots of college came over to have the session and especially this design challenge we started on last july uh, which is really engaging for the students personally i got many feedbacks from the students that they really spend the time very well this one year they spend very well and many of the students uh, okay fine so we will go ahead with the uh, with the winners of first the monthly challenges um, which was conducted as a part of this competition Uh, from the month of july to the month of november 2020 anand so from the july month the first prize goes to the so third prize goes to banari amman institute of technology mr u anesh sir is it audible now yeah, yes yeah. yes 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 so the second prize goes to mr vasan from university college of engineering kanchipuram the first prize goes to mr Mith mr mithun from kumaraguru college of technology kanpur so this is these are the three winners congratulations to all the winners for the month of july now let's move to august so the third prize goes to mr sandeep from tyagraja college of engineering madurai the second prize goes to mr shivadanush from college of engineering gindi then the first prize goes to M Ishwara Prasad from Tyagraja College of Engineering, Madurai. So that concludes the August monthly challenge winners. Then the next uh, for the uh, uh, September month, we have Roshan. from banari amman institute of technology then 
over to the second price for the month of September. It is Jagan from Banari Aman Institute of Technology. Then the first prize goes to Bharat from PSG College of Technology. Then, the, then we move over to the October results. So the October results, the third prize goes to Ishwara Prasad. Ishwara Prasad from Tyagraja College of Engineering, Madurai. Yeah. Aishwara Prasad from Tyagraja College of Engineering. <clears throat> then the second prize for October goes to Mr. Bharat PK from PhD College of technology. And the first prize goes to Sivadhanus from College of Engineering, Gindi. Congratulations to all the October winners. Now let's move to November. Third prize goes to Sujit S. from Banariyaman Institute of Technology. The second prize goes to Harishwa K from Madras Institute of Technology. The first prize goes to Gokul Jaswant from Banariyaman. Institute of Technology. So congratulations to all the winners of the country challenges. Great work done. Great work done by all the students. Yeah, uh, I take pride in announcing the uh, second runner-up of the mega challenge. Uh, the second runner-up uh, goes to uh, Mr. E uh, Ishwara of uh, Tyagarajar College of Engineering, Madurai. Congratulations, Ishwara, and your team. All the very best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for um, you know for taking time out to announce the uh, uh, um, uh, second runner-up. May pleasure, I, sir. Um, yes. Please go, ahead, sir. Uh, the the Bharat from PSA College of Technology is the first runner-up of this uh, Fusion 360 program. Many congratulations to Bharat and his team. Congratulations. Congratulations. And then finally, may I request uh, is Sridhanush Kala of College of Engineering, Gindi, who is the grand finale winner of 2021 edition. So congratulations uh, to Sridhanush and all the members, the first runner-up and second runner-up, and all the participants, very enthusiastically have participated. Uh, I wish uh, the, the uh, 2022 edition should come forward, and then, uh, uh, I mean, it should have a, a process. Uh, continuously. So once again, uh, my sincere thanks and appreciation to Deepangarji, Ramesh, and other uh, leadership team of uh, uh, 
uh, see students here on the call uh, 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 you don't seem like a, uh, uh, as a student I mean, uh, we are really astonished to see you as a budding engineer and uh, with the impressive way of how you present and how you come up with the uh, question answers uh, with the uh, during the session and out of box thinking is one of the thing which we all thought of uh, when uh, we were studying engineering we were all uh, even struggle to get into a presentation mode and present in front of an audience and you guys are far 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 ahead of us and uh, the completely out of box thinking and uh, the way you utilize the technology uh, whatever autodesk has given uh, the way you could leverage the technology that is available uh, now and uh, combine with your fundamental knowledge and uh, bringing out a fantastic uh, 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 event uh, of this sort that is uh, very much appreciable and uh, this clearly shows that uh, you are uh, strong in your fundamentals the engineering students uh, uh, which is again uh, rare to see and uh, this team of elite team i would say uh, they are very strong in their fundamentals and they go to the design calculations and come up with the, so much of uh, uh, ideas which is really appreciable and uh, again uh, to add on uh, uh, the outcome is really amazing the outcome of the event is really amazing even though you are practicing engineers you are not at uh, fully Uh, graduated engineers you are uh, just in the college but still the outcome what you provide us uh, mind blogging the other important thing all the jury members wanted to say is most of you are mechanical engineers but uh, you are all into electrical cars and electric uh, uh, vehicles and those sort of things which uh, even i am a mechanical engineer if you ask me anything in electrical i'll be uh, scratching my ear or struggling bit to get into that but uh, it's really really astonishing to see mechanical engineers coming into uh, the out of their box, out of their uh, comfortless and uh, uh, creating a lot of useful stuff in the other arena and uh, from uh, the autodesk and anna university we would uh, really like to uh, say thanks to the platform created for the students which uh, which which would have not uh, now happened these students would not have the opportunity to present in front of this kind of a big audience so that is one thing and uh, usually dr kalichalan used to say whenever uh, we meet him or we speak to him there must be a there is a big gap huge gap and there there must be a bridging uh, platform to bridge the industry and academia so i think this uh, platform really proved that uh, there is a big uh, uh, bridge built between the gap and the gap has narrowed by bridging the gap between the industry and the academia and uh, really helped it's a learning for all of us uh, as uh, mr suresh of uh, ejikar uh, suresh kumar uh, ravindran and uh, hari everybody spoke it's again a learning opportunity for all, all of us i mean we learned a very lot of things in the past 6 uh, to 8 months of journey and uh, thanks for the wonderful opportunity and we really look forward uh, uh, to meet you all again and uh, in the next uh, bigger and bolder event thank you all uh, thank you so much on behalf of uh, all the five jury members thank you thank you dr saranan thank you yeah thank you thank you once again uh, i just want to add uh, you know uh, one more point here uh, you know as uh, Uh, as this virtual environment uh, actually imagine it and autodesk has uh, teamed up together you know completely organized that award ceremony in a very collaborative vr space so we have created an exhibition environment where the students are actually uh, you know uh, entered using a 3d avatars and displayed their models and uh, uh, with the uh, with all supporting presentations content and uh, uh, it was also presented concept to the jury panel so the entire session was designed uh, you know at most uh, you know interaction between the students and dignitaries in mind uh, where the students can also uh, you know broken down their uh, projects exploded you know in three dimensional space uh, so this is students are also able to learn uh, something new way uh, you know uh, or through our you know an university uh, you know fusion design challenge so that's one of the uh, one of the you know prime learning uh, for students because uh, the students are using various cat platforms and they are used a virtual environment uh, you know to present and to build and to explore further uh, so uh, you know thank you once again uh, you know from from the team who are actually involved and uh, you know build the actual uh, you know experience to all the students and to all the jury members yeah i also yeah. echo right from the monthly challenge okay so taking keen interest and we look forward to collaborating with your organizations uh, in the days to come thank you so much sorry kalai sir uh, it's my privilege to uh, uh, say the word of thanks uh, in this uh, wonderful event end of the day 
And uh, first of all, my sincere and foremost thanks to Mr. Konwar, who head the uh, APAC Japan Education, who has uh, wonderfully initiated uh, today's session, uh, inaugurated this session with his uh, mind blowing, uh, thought provoking uh, uh, address about uh, the design and optimization. The especially uh, it kindled uh, uh, the, the uh, importance of industry readiness among the uh, students, I should say, especially the participants. So he has also indicated the latest developments in the area of uh, manufacturing. And uh, thank you, Mr. Konve uh, Gosa, uh, for, for your wonderful uh, presence and uh, speech today. And uh, next, uh, my sincere thanks to Mr. Parminder, Head of Design and Manufacturing, India and SART uh, countries. So he, uh, uh, his speech uh, is towards the future of making, especially on uh, the uh, importance of design and experiments. You know, uh, we uh, academics, uh, academy, academia, uh, uh, now, you know, uh, even though we are uh, giving emphasis on uh, uh, practicals, but you know, the uh, grooming of uh, practical knowledge uh, lies in the hands of students, especially by um, by creating interest uh, to, to take part in uh, design events like today. And he has also touched upon the importance of automation and uh, more importantly, the sustainability in, in, in making the innovative things, innovation and the invention, especially uh, uh, on the, uh, in the context of sustainability, that is more important. So thank you, Mr. Parminder, uh, uh, sir, uh, for your uh, thought-provoking and uh, uh, wonderful speech today. And uh, my sincere and foremost thanks to the, the captain of the uh, entire uh, event, uh, Mr. Deepankar, Head India Education, for your uh, 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 periodic uh, uh, presence uh, in making things happening. And uh, today also you have uh, coordinated the entire event very nicely and in announcing the winners also. Thank you so much uh, for your all your support. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, extended uh, with the CUIC Anna University. And thank you, sir. And my sincere thanks to Mr. Ramesh Pudale, who is the taskmaster of this uh, uh, entire uh, series of events uh, uh, have happened uh, right from July. And, uh, you know, uh, every time uh, when we meet, uh, um, I mean, uh, Dr. Ramesh Pudale, sir, who, who used to be simple and then uh, who used to be on time for our meetings and then uh, periodically he used to visit our campus and fortunately he missed your uh, uh, I mean uh, meeting uh, physically due to the uh, I mean, uh, lockdowns and then uh, you know uh, there was no strain in our uh, meetings even we continued uh, with the online meeting also and uh, you know you have uh, coordinated the entire series of events without any, uh, I mean, uh, uh, lackness. So uh, my sincere thanks to Dr. Ramesh Pudale, sir, for, uh, your, uh, for making this entire event uh, to be a successful one. Thank you so much, sir. And my sincere thanks to our uh, professor, Dr. Jagarajan, sir, for uh, his enlightening uh, inaugural speech today. And, uh, you know, um, uh, as usual, he, he has remarkably uh, uh, made this uh, inaugural speech today. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, my my sincere thanks to our uh, uh, Dr. Kalei sir. Uh, you know, um, you, you have remarkably made this uh, uh, collaboration uh, possible with the Autodesk. Uh, you know, I, as I have mentioned in my feedback, it's, uh, it's one of the benchmark uh, collaborations, I should say. And uh, I, I believe that with your great support, uh, we will sustain our uh, collaborative initiatives with uh, not only Autodesk, with our uh, other uh, collaborating partners as well. Thank you so much, uh, Kalei sir. And uh, uh, my sincere thanks to all the jury members uh, uh, right from the beginning uh, who have uh, um, uh, supported uh, both Autodesk as well as CUIC uh, and uh, the, the uh, participants. And uh, you know, uh, without your uh, immense support, the, uh, the entire event would not have been a great success. Even in this uh, pandemic situation, I wish you were busy schedule and busy uh, work nature. Uh, even on a, a working day, in the late evening, you have spent a, your valuable time 
with the uh, participants and all of us. Thank you so much to all the jury members uh, uh, who have made this uh, event uh, a great success. And my sincere thanks to all the participants, uh, especially the, uh, uh, the finalists uh, who have made a remarkable present, uh, presentation on their own uh, uh, ideas and design skills, uh, green taxi, phonics, electric vehicle, and then electric bike, city rider, ignite. It was mind blowing. Uh, as the jury members rightly said, the, the, the ideas and even, I mean, innovations that you have uh, uh, put forth today is really uh, remarkable. And, uh, you know, keep, uh, keep up this good work and continue your uh, innovations possible uh, uh, in the future also, so that uh, it will be a kind of uh, motivating uh, thing to your juniors as well, so that your uh, juniors also will be able to participate in many such events. And thank you all uh, the finalists as well as the participants who have made this uh, event very successful. And my sincere thanks to all the faculty members and heads of the departments, heads of the institutions who have encouraged all these participants to participate in this great uh, design challenge event. And thank you all. And uh, my, uh, my sincere thanks to all the placement officers concerned with the institutes and then uh, team autodesk behind the screen uh, you would have done a lot of uh, homeworks in making things possible and uh, team autodesk an innovate team and uh, uh, last but not the least my sincere thanks to all the uh, background uh, workers along with the supporting uh, hey, anil gaste anil gaste also traveling with us uh, since from the beginning with uh, anil gaste Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah. remarkably, yeah. Uh, Mr. Arif Gaste, uh, I mean, uh, uh, of Autodesk, uh, has given the encouraging words in the end. So, thank you so much, Mr. Arif Gaste, sir. And uh, yeah, so in fact, uh, we uh, try to, uh, I mean, uh, make it as a live streaming today. Uh, but there was there some technical glitch in it. And nevertheless, uh, we are going. We are planning to. Uh, I mean, uh, use the recorded uh, video uh, to be available with the YouTube channel of our uh, Gindi Times, College of Engineering Gindi. And uh, uh, Mr. Guru is uh, tech, probably he'll reach out to Dr. Ramesh Kudale for the same, so that it will reach uh, a larger audience, uh, so that uh, they will also get motivated to take part in this kind of event. And uh, thank you, one and all, uh, for making this uh, wonderful event uh, today as a successful event. Thank you so much.